hello good evening everyone welcome to our stream and uh, well today is going to be a very exciting day and today uh, with me nandini is here hi nandini hi atul hi everybody <laughs> good to have you here and uh, so what is there today nandini can you tell us uh, our uh, viewers also about it quarter finals semi -fina finals and the finals yeah quarter finals semi finals and finals are there today uh, yesterday top 8 players were uh, selected and uh, they are going to be there today and sachin is saying like hello looking forward to the exciting match up go nuber okay there is a, already one fan <laughs> <laughs> for nuber here anup is saying like uh, all the best to all the players yes exactly ame is also here so we have uh, players so uh, so before the game start means uh, uh, obviously we will be getting their video and everything but arbiter will be checking taking care of all those things so nandini you have joined the zoom also right yeah i'm just joining just give me a minute yeah yeah so, miss uh, vivek will do that thing and one more thing is that uh, should i show the pairings for today to the viewers yeah yeah so definitely yeah, i think yeah, uh, yeah. Will i, I will just show the pairings uh, for the viewers and that will be cool just give me a second okay i will just get the pairings and today we will have lots of time to talk about the games <laughs> so we will do ekdam aaram se we will not hurry for anything uh, because only one game will be there at a time so i think this will be very good for us to talk and also and to analyze the games so that's the main point cool so let me check it and let's get to the business just <coughs> uh, results yeah for the time being i'll just show this thing yeah and then we will uh, remove it to the other place okay fine so let's get it here so can you see it nandini up mm. okay uh, i think I, I have not shared you my screen right yeah i have not shared uh, okay, it okay i'll just share my screen so that you will know what is going on and uh, that will be cool okay i have started sharing now i hope it is yeah cool. now yeah. i now now i can see the pairings yeah the pairings and everything you can see so this is the pairing now uh, which everybody can see and uh, well the first first match is going to be interesting right because uh, it will be the first player who was like he was ranked means martins ranked first in yesterday's swiss league tournament he will be playing against the player who is uh, on the 8th rank and uh, okay that will be uh, like it will keep on going so the first match will be between martinez and saurabh anand and yes, uh, okay, I, I, it, I, I hope that it will be interesting <laughs> it definitely will be interesting right i mean yeah it's just eight players right now they are going to be playing against each other so yeah and uh, one more thing i would like to tell the viewers that this is going to be uh, 3 plus 2 format will be there means match format and uh, as i said like match format there will be two games one game player will be playing with the white pieces and then they will alternate the colors and it will go like a black uh, color will also be there so that will be the thing and uh, okay if that match is also drawn then there will be tie breaks so that is what uh, is the rule of this thing quarter finals and final finals will be 5 plus 2 so that will be a little bit longer time control <laughs> so only 4 minutes are left for the games to start maybe i should uh, prepare for this thing now uh, to get the players and everybody on the screen right yes i think you have everything already set up so yeah i have already set up but uh, the videos were not on before sometimes so i'll try to get the videos so that everything will be perfect uh, let me get okay just one minute uh, is it on already martinez i can see that he is there by the way do you know where from he Sorry, Atul. What were you saying? Do you do you know where from like uh, Joseph Martinez? Do you know his location, his country? Peru, right? Yeah, he is from Peru. So it's a, a good thing uh, that our tournament has players from different different locations all over the world. So 
that's a cool thing okay now i have the players also there on our screen so i will just uh, switch it and there we go we have uh, saurabh anand on the left side and uh, martinez is on the right side over here i hope you can see it and we will uh, even go to the chess board maybe in some time the chess <laughs> means it will start it will start in just five minutes maybe max let me get the link also i think i have not taken the link until now I'll just click on the link so that whenever... thank you so much for whoever are here right now and yes if you are here watching and waiting for the games then please please do like the stream so that we can reach more and more people and subscribe too yeah <laughs> do subscribe guys that will be a great help because we want to reach maximum number of people and the more you will uh, like help us to reach more people that will be good because this is the initiative oh i think there is something they changed something there in the zoom meeting i think i need to <laughs> again change the settings <laughs> okay fine <laughs> okay okay I'll, I'll just change it i'll just change it we change something yesterday also this I thing think... happened no as if you remember they pinned the board and then the players were ah, gone yes yes so yes, today yes. also they pinned the board because arbiter <laughs> needs to watch the board all the time yeah yeah it's watch the yeah. game right yeah watch the games and uh, fix it everything so this is a very important thing yeah. once we will be set now then everything will be cool i think we can just keep going game by game yeah game by game and now i just need to put martinez there and that's it okay now it's done okay fine then all set to go for the match It will yeah, the start. game has not yet begun, right? The no, no, it has yet not begun. yet begun. It will begin in just uh, maybe five minutes max. Games are about to begin. Vivek yeah, yeah. Games are about to begin. Okay, the games are about to begin. Yes, like exactly. Tina is also here. She is saying big thanks to you and everyone else who are involved in getting this uh, tournament organ. Of, of course, this is not uh, like only one player. Everybody is there who is uh, helping behind the scenes. You can say. so thanks to all of my friends who were there for me in this uh, tournament and thanks to our uh, sponsors red bull and our uh, partner you can say chest.com especially rakesh uh, kulkarni <laughs> and uh, my friend is here nandini how many times i should uh, thank you like you are always there miss <laughs> 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 uh, okay it, you are my friend so okay the games are started or what uh okay i will click it oh the edge started started i think yeah just so just started. just started so we have everything on the uh, on the board so guys let's talk about the games now and enjoy the commentary if you have uh, any questions or feel free to ask us we will be more than happy to talk about uh, your questions answer your questions but first of all let's focus on the games here oh his name is i like his name like the user id do you like his user id <laughs> Samosa, of course. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So this so yeah, is uh, have yeah. The Royal Lopez Open, right? Yeah, Royal Lopez Open, and this is a very famous opening, miss position also opening position, it which has been played quite many times. And okay, I yeah. think uh, both players know sure. the theory. The way they are playing very fast, okay. they know the theory. Oh, sacrifice! Oh, wow. yeah. He's gone for he's gone for these two pieces for the rook. Oh. Uh, variation so uh this is kind of surprising to me because i was not at all expecting do you did you know about this thing already yeah i mean oh. your variation yes i did i did know about it oh cool cool so it is uh, pe uh, people do play it i've seen some games uh huh and who do you prefer like as you know this line that's why i'm asking you like uh, what is the preferred side like white or black who do you prefer as a player i would prefer black <laughs> Okay. Ah, cha. But uh, only because you get some extra space and stuff. But if you see materially, then you're white. So I think it's actually very equal. It just depends on how you play. Because if you make one move mm -hmm. that's weak on either side, then that could just uh, get you a minus position. Oh, so you have to be very careful while playing this position. 
because you have already sacrificed one uh, not a piece but okay two pieces for uh, the rook right yes 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 also white has to also be careful to not make a mistake because there's no uh, like he's not a uh, space advantage black has right yeah correct correct so for that reason also develop an advantage black is having and i i, I somehow uh, somehow i like this setup also like this queen and the rook are there and they are waiting for the f file to be opened up right yes. <laughs> yeah 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 so i i think like uh, the next move can be e4 or no i think this is the threat yeah this is the threat yeah this is the threat i the move uh, bishop g5 to bishop e3 is very nice right yeah. forcing the queen to e7 then bishop e3 so then knight g5 is a threat now the light squares are weak oh he is so smart you know like i was talking about f file and he is making yeah. sure that there should not be any rook there <laughs> yeah no f file no f file for the rooks okay anup is saying some yeah. story i guess so what is it like samosa when i was in china i got them made in my hotel by the chinese chef oh wow that's cool so will jos <laughs> have samosa today or will the samosa be too much for jos will be the fun to watch yeah exactly and butterscotch <laughs> is saying like sir what a big tournament uh, congrats thank you thank you butterscotch for being there and uh, always being the supporter for whatever we do here okay we have some viewers today around uh, 13 yesterday there were lots of viewers today uh, a little bit less but Okay, they will grow. Uh, so guys, whoever absolutely. are there, huh? yes. Today, what? today uh, there's also the World Cup final. So you ah, know, World Cup final for what? T uh, Twenty. Okay, I am completely out of the cricket, so I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, it's not that everybody is going to watch it because India is not there. It's New Zealand versus Australia, but still, you know. Uh huh. Okay, but I, I did not even have any idea. No offense about cricket, but I am not a big fan. <laughs> okay. What do you think of this position, Atul? Because uh, why, uh, black is ready to sacrifice the exchange, is it? Or yeah, I means uh, exchange. Yeah, he wants to return. He will be pieced no. down in that case. He'll right? be moving. He'll be moving the rook. Actually, I guess now, right? He should move the rook. Yeah, because he he else. he attacked the knight. That that time, white yeah, yeah. played knight d two. So I did not see that. Uh -huh. uh, he he must move the rook. No, what else? Like if he give the give up the rook, then you will be pieced down. Yeah. Yeah, P D Sanjay is saying like, please tell my name. <laughs> Why? Means <laughs> he doesn't know his name. <laughs> I'm asking you. He's asking the uh, coach Atul Dahale to actually say out his name. So <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. So his name is uh, Sanjay. Sanjay, please don't spam. Okay, just enjoy the games because this is a, this is going to be a very interesting game. I think so. The pawns are progressing forward. So yes. samosa is actually spicing up the position. That's what I will say. The very spicy samosa. Can <laughs> yeah. everybody oh, have it? We wow. don't know. Wow, wow, bishop into h6. He got the pawn or what? Did he yeah, miss he it? Got the pawn. Did he miss it or he bishop. deliberately de uh, gave it pawn? Okay. Uh, uh, would you deliberately give the h6 pawn? Like, <laughs> no, I don't. I, do, I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. But but Nandini, have you seen the time? Have you seen the time? There is a uh, huge no. difference between oh. the time. Wow. Right? Yes, because yeah, I think Martinez knows these positions very well. He's definitely playing very fast. Yeah. I mean, he's just used I don't know, not even a minute for the twenty-five moves, so, so definitely knows the position. And uh, he is very confident that okay, in the end, I'm going to have one extra piece, so I just need to keep on playing uh, solid moves, and that should be enough for me to like grind down. Maybe yes. that's the strategy which he might be using. and this is yeah, the difference between i feel like when you know the uh, know the position and when you don't know the position yeah <laughs> so what were you saying let's say uh, about having experience i think experience is very important because sometimes you know something but mm -hmm. you just cannot implement it because you don't have the experience right and martinez as we know he sh he is very experienced as a player too mm -hmm. so he must he must have come across this position lots and lots of times yeah obviously now the queen is also being attacked Okay, where H2. do you think Queen G five? Ah, okay. nice, interesting. E four and D four. Okay, he wants to. Yeah, he's just pushing the pawn. He wants to just let me roll roll all the pawns up, but the pawn was free, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was yeah. free. Okay, now knight e two is the threat. Knight e two, and then the knight will be going to the D four square. But okay, obviously he will save it. Is there any other threat? Oh, he saved it with knight G three. 
I was thinking about some other sacrifices, but they don't work. Nothing works. Bishop H3 could be played by black, mm -hmm. but probably doesn't make sense. I think there's just queen g7 or something there. I don't know. Uh, means you want to exchange the pieces or what? But okay, Nandini, there is only seven seconds left on the board now. Knight h3 has been played. Oh, he wants to give queen f2 check. Wow, that will yes, be interesting. F... Yeah, but what after queen f2 is a Bishop question. h3 is also coming. Queen g2 is coming. Wait, Bishop, see, queen g2 is also going to come after. Oh, he's going to draw the game. Wow, that was a great save. Wow, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Martin has definitely missed out on something, right? Yeah, I mean, he missed out on knight h3, I think. So he missed out on knight h3 and the file which we were talking about, the queen and the rook. <laughs> finally, they only made it draw. <laughs> yeah. So so let, let's go to the... Okay, they started the next game very quickly. Wow. I thought like they are going to wait for a while. Mm -hmm. So the first game is drawn and the d4 opening is there. So that was a very exciting finish, I must say. Okay, we will we will yeah. get other games also. So and we have to gambit accepted here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's just regular moves, right? Yeah, regular moves. But that was a very surprising sacrifice, uh, and uh, the the way it got over just check 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 draw. I was thinking about bishop into h3. What was the problem with bishop h3? I don't know. Maybe he could have saved it, right, by moving the knight. No. Oh. Uh, I, I was thinking bishop h3, maybe they, I was thinking there was queen g7, queen g7, bishop g7, king g7 and then capture. I don't know if ah, that works. Ah, okay, okay. No, the, no, in that position, bishop was on d2, right? No, no, c3. Okay, we will check it out afterwards. Let's <laughs> focus on this game. Uh, bishop to d3. Okay, this is also going to be very symmetrical. Which position do you prefer, uh, Miss? Uh, have you played Queen's Gambit declined? Yeah, I have played. <laughs> okay, from... I've everything until you ask. No, 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 but I'm saying like from white side or black side? Both sides. Oh, Don't both sides. Especially, especially after playing, starting streaming and playing online chess, right? I've tried everything. Keep <laughs> trying stuff. <laughs> okay. So the pawns are getting forward, like they are pushed and uh, maybe normal development will be there, li like castling and then knight c6 or knight d7. Yeah. Not there, sorry, this one. And uh, this knight, what do you think about knight c3? I, uh, he'll have probably, yeah, knight c3, I, uh, sometime b4 push could be a problem, but I don't know, it depends. May, what may, do you think? But I think like even if b4 comes, like this pawns will be slightly weakened, no? So maybe yeah, we can not play. Yeah, not, not huh. immediately, but you know, in the future they could be. Uh, but I mean, do you have a better square? I don't think so, right? Yeah, knight d2 doesn't really look that means positive to Where me. Where are you going with the knight? If you go to yeah. f1, you go to g3, then I don't know. If... Yeah, then also you don't have really that many yeah. good scores. So maybe he will go for knight c3. Let's see what he is going to play on the next move. Knight d7 has been played. Uh, he is keeping the pressure here because knight c6 would have just stopped the bishop's diagonal. Yes, the bishop is actually very strong, right on b7. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now normal castle or this time also you can expect some spicy stuff from samosa by playing queen d2 d5. and bishop h6. <laughs> okay, d5 here. <laughs> he wants to open up the game because uh, this rook is there on this uh, file over here. So if yeah, all the action. Very... Common concept, right, Atul? Operates mm -hmm. king in the center, open up the center. Correct, correct. <laughs> so, do you think that he will capture or he will just castle? But I... if you castle, uh, ah, d6 is, d6 is d6 is coming. Six? Yeah, d6 yeah. here. So, it's almost forced to play something here. Queen b6, okay, he is supporting the d6, but still d6 can be played. But you have bishop d8 or is there anything else? Oh, yeah, yeah, we have bishop d8, correct, correct. The pawn him. is very strong on d6, isn't it? Yeah, it is a very strong pawn. But I think if white ever plays e5, then the d5 square is uh, there for the knight, plus the b7 bishop becomes very strong. Ah, right, right, correct, correct. You are absolutely right about this thing. Uh, even though our pawns are uh, progressed forward, but we are opening up the lines for our opponent. Right? Yes. Okay, bishop c5. Again, bishop f2 is going to come on the board. <laughs> He's always after the F file. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I have the anchor chip, but I don't have time to take the anchor chip in hand. <laughs> yeah, because of the initiative, of course. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So Mayur is there today in the chat. Cool. Hi, Mayur. Uh, guys, please let us know, like, if you can hear Nandini and me very well, because I forgot to ask that thing. I don't think anybody said anything though, so maybe they're able to hear us. No yeah, worries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Today everything is uh, going good. Uh, like the part of the streaming also, and the games are also very interesting. Guys, keep liking the stream and uh, enjoy the games. And please let me know in the chat who do you like uh, support in our today's. Maybe should we take one poll in this for That's this game? Thing. Okay, let's take one poll for yeah. this. Uh, okay, uh, your uh, who will win? Okay. Who will win? Uh, Martinez versus Sauravanan. We'll give Martinez and Saurav. Okay. Martinez is real. Uh, Martinez is very fast. Okay, if you compare, just yeah. look at the time difference. Look at the time difference. My yeah. God. And last time also there was a huge time difference. And just to let the viewers know about this thing, if this game is also drawn, then they will be playing the Armageddon. And uh, I think they know about the Armageddon, uh, uh, this thing or not, I don't know. The About the Ar Armageddon, I will uh, say that the matches are going to be crazy because there will not be any uh, increment. Okay, we are getting some uh, votes here. Guys, do keep voting, okay? <laughs> okay, now the position is opening up. The king is kind of opened yeah. up. Queen g5 uh, check. Very open. Uh, Dark is a weak. Wait, yeah. wasn't he getting queen f4 there? Yeah, queen I f4 didn't... was better, I guess so. Yeah, now he will go for queen f4, I guess so. Right? Oh, okay, oh he is running he away. Is he is running away. Okay, bishop h3. Bishop h3. Yeah, yeah bishop h3 is coming. Over. While putting the this thing, <laughs> the games are almost getting over. <laughs> Okay, I don't think so. Like white can survive in this position. Too much of this thing after h3, a pawn falls, the h pawn will be just going forward without any issues. Yeah. We should have four. I was expecting that. Yeah. Keep the exchange, exchange but... check. Yeah. Okay, f3 pawn maybe. Will you capture? Will you be greedy? Oh, he wants uh, to capture the rook. <laughs> yeah, of course you'll be greedy. No, rook is a rook. <laughs> I was thinking about the pawn, but he saw the que uh, rook. Oh, okay. he won the game. He won the game. So, uh, just uh, let me get the players here on uh, this thing. Okay. And you can mute. You can mute. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just one minute. I'm getting the players. Yeah. Guys, uh, can you unmute uh, Martinez and Sora? Can you hear me, by the way? Yes, yes. Yeah, you can hear us, right? Uh, Martinez, uh, how was uh, the game? Like, first game was very crazy, I must say. <laughs> uh, Martinez, you are on mute. No, you are on mute, Martinez. Uh, so, ask to unmute. Can you unmute? Okay, now, yeah. Yeah, now you are there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um... <laughs> The first game, I think, was uh, old theory uh, that uh, yeah, open this... Spanish. Uh, we play like the first 15 moves in theory, but then mm -hmm. I think he made a mistake in the move uh, when he played like queen f6, and then I play bishop g5 because uh, he allowed okay, me uh, to... Uh, uh, should we show that game to the viewers also? Maybe like I can add that uh, games window to the viewers and we can talk about it for a while. Huh? Oh, I I didn't I didn't listen that. Uh, I said like maybe we can show the game to the viewers 
and you can uh, talk about it that okay, means we can you analyze are... just one minute i i'll just uh, uh, do okay. this thing i'll just add it just one minute Maybe and I can put... huh what i will put my airpods to listen better because it's... yeah yeah can... yeah please okay. please do that thing yeah i finished the game i think <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> yeah and what about uh, saurav how was your experience playing against uh, martinez I didn't get a chance, man. In the first match also, I was uh, clearly losing, but got lucky in the group three to that. Ah, yeah. I I didn't get thirty much. This is both the uh, E four and then E five ninety four open Spanish. This is the first time I'm playing uh, in like this of. So I don't have much time. Okay. Play. You just played it. I, I, we thought like you know the stuff and everything. So I am sharing the window to the players also. So you can analyze. You can analyze. And some, like he said, I knew till the king's even only queen of six I did. Yeah, ah. because I think Martinez seemed to be very well prepared, even with the time on the clock. He was just blitzing out all the moves on the board. Yeah, Miss. Uh, uh, we, hmm? It was my time. Of, uh, I calculated uh, so much at some point, and then I am came in time this for that. Ah, and uh, like uh, okay, second game also was very interesting, Miss. We were and in the end, okay, in the first game like Night Ash three came and uh, okay, this is the second game. Uh, what's your we we felt like after D five it was interesting. Yeah, I was also thinking, of, but it was very complicated, and I need some time to calculate this. Thing. So I calculated in the starting, but after that, I was very low on time, so I just have to play the move. Mm -hmm. Correct, means time was a very big factor for you. <laughs> just in like uh, ten or uh, fifteen or twenty moves, I am like two minutes behind. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what do you think, Martin, is about this second game? Uh, I think it was so so sharp, so difficult mm -hmm. when he played uh, d5. Uh, mm -hmm. I decided to play some practical move and don't calculate uh, the obvious move is ed. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, he will have chances if I take the pawn because he will maybe play e5, knight e4, and then put his knight in d4. And ah. it's uh, his, he has a uh, very good pieces. Mm. Then I decide to play queen b6. Maybe it's not the best. I think de is interesting and f8 e5. Okay. Some and some check in g6, uh, and I can castle after that check. But... Ah, right, right. You need to do some artificial castling, maybe king d8, king c7. Yeah, but I, I was feeling not bad in when in with my king in the center because I have many good pieces. Uh, yeah, the, especially the knight on d5 looks very yeah. cool. E6, f6, e5, knight d5. After that, I think I did not able to do anything. If you if you play king d8, d5 knight is very solid and your queen. So I did. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I can't attack. Even after BG6, King you will play King 2 I don't know. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and but, after, uh, and after, yeah, Queen B6, Knight C3. When I played like uh, E5, I think I am, I am better because I close the center. Mm -hmm. And uh, and when I put B4 and his knight was in A4, his knight. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was not it having was like, that many good squares. Yeah, separate of the game was never played. Uh, his knight on a4. The, the the rest of the game, uh, he didn't use this knight. Yeah. Yeah, it was just uh, after that it was your like uh, cool attack on the king side. What do you think, Nandini? You, if you have any question, you can definitely ask. <laughs> uh, I would like to ask Martin is like when the. Uh, on, in the first game, actually, when the pawn pushes were coming after bishop f2, queen, uh, queen f, okay, but of course, queen f6 came on the board, which you said was not right. But uh, even after that, about the pawn pushes, I mean, there were so many pawns in the center. Like, weren't you really worried about anything? Uh, no, because I, it's, uh, it's a position that was played many games, and I remember it's like... Uh, a, slightly better slightly chances for white also, also it's difficult but uh, it's not like scary mm -hmm. if you uh, okay if i didn't check that and <laughs> it's my first time playing this position of course i will waste many time but i was confident in that position okay. because I, I saw uh, in other games like 
time before. But so what okay. should have Saurabh done instead of Queen F6? What was the right move in that position? Uh, I don't know what is the right move. There are many moves. Uh, maybe H6 is an interesting move to avoid some knight G5 or bishop G5. H6 uh, is a the, the move, move which he played after uh, uh, some time. That was interesting. Like he played at yeah. six anyhow after two moves. Yeah. Yeah, but then yeah. I think um I think Martinez gained a tempo with Bishop G five, Bishop E three, yes, right? Exactly. Threatening knight exactly. G five. Yeah. 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 Okay, uh, that was a cool game. So uh, thanks uh, for uh, commentary and uh, telling your insights about the game. Thank you both of you and uh, Saurabh, uh, thanks for being there. Uh, and Martinez, all the best for uh, the semis. <laughs> Thank you, GGs. Yeah. So we will uh, start with the next quarter final game. So thank thank you very much. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I will just so uh, I will just. Uh, So our next game is going to be is between uh, between Harsha and Nubair, right? Yeah, Harsha and Nubair. So we will get them on the screen, and uh, we will. Nubair is uh... okay. We need to have Nubair also. Okay, somebody needs to allow him something. Okay, let me let me get Nubair's camera. Add to pin Nubair's camera and Harsha is also there, right? So Harsha is setting up the camera. So guys, it will take some time because they are setting up all the cameras and everything. So uh, in just some time, we will get everything. So Nandini, what do you think? Like uh, it was uh, kind of interesting game. <laughs> yeah, both it the was games. interesting. Yeah, it was actually nice to see. You know, one player is like completely prepared and the other is not. Mm -hmm. And then you actually see how it actually works out. <laughs> like, what yeah. is on somebody's mind, you actually and, understand. And right? you, you can also say this thing like uh, the more you know about the opening as well as the middle game, uh, more you will be comfortable in shorter time control. Shorter time control, yes. Yeah, especially because if you have like one hour or something, then of, of course you can think for a long time and you can figure out yeah, yeah, what to can, do. You can figure it out and play the best moves without a problem. Yeah. At least. <laughs> Yeah, so our sound was clear, I think so. Everything was so. Harsha is there on the screen, and Nubair is also there. That's cool. <laughs> okay, so this match is uh, going to be there. So I will just put uh, the okay players whoever uh, said like uh, Martin is going to win. He won. <laughs> cool first match. So we will have a different poll now. Let's see what is uh, everybody's opinion now. Okay. Uh, I'm excited. The games will start in two or three minutes, I guess so. Right? So let's start. I think they are just set right now. Both of them are smiling for some yeah, reason. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so well, let's go to the second game. Game two. Game match two, I'll say like match two, quarter finals. Uh, okay. Nubair versus uh, Harsha. Let's see who wins. Okay, Nubair, uh, let other players also know that Nubair is an international master and Harsha is a grandmaster, so that means for the non-chess players, I'm saying. <laughs> yes, definitely. Yeah. Nubair is a very strong player, by the way. Miss, uh, he has uh, already got two GM norms. He is just waiting for one GM norm to become a grandmaster. So you can say that he's almost a grandmaster. <laughs> is there. And uh, GM, and the, uh, just keep an eye on this thing uh, that the games are starting or not. Yeah, I actually, uh, I, I don't know how I have to go to their profiles and check the games, is it? Because, yeah, I, 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 profile? no, no, it's fine. Like, I think we are following oh, the I players. Have, I, ha I have the tournament link in front of me, but I'll have to go to, the, but in the tournament link, I don't think anything is there because this is, uh, I think. Uh, personally the games are being started right one to one yeah 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 yeah. they will start automatically yeah, so we, we will wait for a while we'll wait for a while the, for the games to start yeah i'll have to actually follow them personally even i will follow them yeah <laughs> so guys 22 Wait, people are playing, watching uh, he's, he's playing atul who is playing well it says he's playing they've just started their game 
Oh, they started. No, it will it will just start started, for us started. also. It will start for us also. Don't worry. Vivek has uh, sent me the link. I'll just start it. Vivek, can you please post the link for us? I can give you the link. Okay. No, no, I got it. I got it. I I got the link. I think it is uh, there on our screen. Nuber is uh, yeah. black in this position and uh, Harsha is white. Oh wow! This time also two pawns are there on c4 and b4. <laughs> there, there is something about these two pawns. What do you I think? Become, the games uh, become more interesting with the pawns there. I think it it's like a kind of an imbalance in the position. And when it comes to uh, you know uh, a tournament time like this where you require a proper result, I think it actually works out. <laughs> Yeah, there is something like thank you Atil for letting non-chess players like me know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he is talking about uh, IM and GM, something like that we wrote. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, keep voting. Okay, we want to see like uh, who do you like support here? And I know like uh, there are many uh, supporters for Nuber because I got some personal messages also earlier that we are rooting for Nuber. But uh, let's see how many supporters are there in the chat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Vivek, I, I will definitely do that thing. Uh, because I did not click this time and I was waiting that uh, the games will automatically start. Okay, let's talk about the game, Nandi. Yes. Uh, do you want to see um, this game from white or black side or just white is fine? Anything is fine. Anything is uh, fine. I, I, I would like to see it from the white side. But whenever you feel like, okay, just change the color, I will definitely do it, okay? Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. So, bishop a6 has been played and, uh, okay, this queen is here in the corner of the board. But maybe this might be going towards this side of the board anytime. So, he is kind of waiting, I guess. So. Yeah, What's, but what? I think it's, all, hmm. it's also important. The queen is actually not doing a bad job there because not allowing white to push a5 or anything like that. Ah. So... Keeping an eye on the pawn, I think. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's better than keeping it on c7. It's better on a5. That's Correct. what I think. Perfect. Perfect. So. And one more thing is also that uh, maybe black is uh, ready to push any pawns if it's needed. Because black has one extra pawn uh, here. Like four pawns are yeah. there and there are only two pawns. And uh, basically, yeah. if you count the pawns, number of pawns on the board, like white is having seven pawns and black is having eight pawns. So he has already sacrificed so one pawn. His upper pawn, his upper pawn, right? Yeah, but okay, not miss. Maybe like he must have sacrificed only, no? <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. This is just the opening, uh, I think. But he is pushing the pawns. And Duber is a very tricky player. And uh, do you think that he is going to be like uh, just concentrating on the extra pawn today? He is tricky. Just look at this. If white plays queen c3, then bishop b4 is a queen trap, no? Oh, okay. <laughs> c c1 was the square, but okay, this was a very interesting uh, idea which you talked about. It's like, because you know, you go to trade queens, for example, just an example, which is obviously not right, but yeah. you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> but, okay, I, uh, this queen is bad. I completely understand hmm. this thing, but it might come in the game once the e5 will be played. Hmm, that's right. Yeah, this queen will be and okay white is already having one two three four pieces on the king side So anything can happen. Okay, Nuber needs to be a little bit careful about his king. Okay, but he is saying like okay I just want to push the pawns <laughs> Yeah uh, Okay, Nuber you see, You've seen a similarity in both the games right in both the matches. They just want to push their pawns Yes, the black and in the previous game uh, Saurabh Anand was the one who was pushing the pawns and this time, Nuber is the one who is pushing the pawns. But now, the, the double pawn is gone, Nandi. Yeah, but it makes sense, right? He, uh, Nuber is just pushing. He pushed the pawn. He exchanged pawns. He's exchanging pieces. He does not mind because he's upper pawns. He's put the queens for exchange now because yeah. he's upper pawn. Correct. He does not mind it. That's a very uh, simple strategy which we always talk about uh, to our students. Like whenever you are piece up or pawn up, like try to exchange as many pieces as possible and just win the end game. Yeah. Okay, now b3 pawn, do you think that it will be bishop, saved? Bishop, bishop c4. Yeah, bishop c4. Uh, yeah, this is a good idea. I did not see this one. There bishop. is knight c1, I think, after that. Okay, knight c1. And after that, what do you think? Maybe he will play a5 and uh, this bishop might go to b4 square. Oh, he wants to play. Ah, g5, exactly. I was <laughs> going to say g5 after that, actually. But okay, he played g5, g5. now. g5. Now, do you think that he will exchange? Oh, why? 
Bishop capture. Oh, e2 is hanging. E2. Nice, nice tactic, huh? nice tactic. Dubair is playing tricky chess and he got like one extra pawn on the board now. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. This this was the threat for the people who did not understand the way I did not understand. The knight on e2 was hanging. <laughs> it is still hanging. You cannot capture on e4. So the pieces are coming up in the center of the board. The knights are there and I love when the knight is in the center of the board. Do you know what do you call when the knight is in the center of the board? I, you told me this last time. I want you to say it, Atul. <laughs> yeah, it is called as the octopus knight or you can say the octo knight because it controls eight squares at the same time. Okay, he has captured it there. The bishop will go back. So did you make up that term or did you read it somewhere, Atul? Ah, uh, no, Mitsa. Uh, okay, uh, I know octopus, but my student who is who was like just 10 years old that time, he said like octo knight. So that term was oh, coined okay. by my student, not by me. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Yeah. See the time difference, by the way. Even the chat, they actually mentioned Nubir is almost a minute up. Yes, yes, yes. So now, Harsha is having only 15 seconds on the board and he is pawned down. But somehow, I feel like these two rooks are active. These two rooks are not that active. Yeah, even though he's down a pawn, the c6 pawn like that is weak. Yeah, so and g5 pawn can also be a potential weakness in the future. But uh, I think h6 can simply be played, right? Or f6. Yeah, yeah. Means, you can play like that, but you need yeah. to take care of this thing for sure. Oh, he, he exchanged everything. Oh, he wants to exchange everything. Wow, nice idea, no? When you are pawn up, yeah. just keep exchanging. <laughs> and get rid of the c5, that weakness, c6. Uh, now you cannot right? capture here. You cannot capture. What are you going to do about this thing? Nandini, how will you... c5. Rook d5 is possible. Ah, but it rook d5 is knight, knight will come on e4 square. So white, exactly. white, white is getting some counterplay. Hmm. White is getting some counterplay here for sure. Oh, he plays f5. f5. Oh, the pawn is gone, man. <laughs> uh, now rook c8 probably, no? Now the pawn, rook c8. Okay, okay. He, then... he is going for this thing. He attack, he covers the d4 square. And now, okay, this pawn is not going to fall. 100%, it is not going to fall. Because knight d4, bishop d4. Not there, sorry. <laughs> then e d4. The pawn will be consolidated. No, uh, why will he capture? He will not capture bishop d4, no? Oh, he, oh, he, he does. Captured. No, because the e6 pawn was also hanging. Oh, I didn't see that. Ah. <laughs> yeah, e6 was hanging, correct. Okay, this is leading to a draw, I guess. So. Means Nubair had good chances, but now it looks very equal. They are just going to exchange everything. The a7 pawn will fall. What's your uh, prediction? Yeah, I'm with you here. I think they will draw the first game. Yeah, they will draw the first game the way it happened in the last one also. Yeah, this this will be a draw and uh, none of them will have a problem drawing this. So, yeah. Let's uh, see what happens in the second game now. This is easy draw for these uh, players. They will not mess up this one. And uh, Chespri is saying like, hi, hello, Bhaiya. And by the way, Nandini, do you know Chespri is uh, like Vinod Sharma? Uh, he is a candidate master and he played uh, excellent yeah, I, I games. Got to, I got uh, to know just yesterday when you spoke or when you replied to his chat. I did not know otherwise. Yeah, and uh, he played really good games yesterday. By the way, now the pawns are getting forward. <laughs> Black might be having some chance. Might be having some chance. Means I don't know. Maybe if the pawns reach to the g3 square, then the this is a checkmate position. Nubair will try. No, Nubair will not give up. <laughs> but... But I don't why, know. why he did not push the pawn earlier? I, G, G4, the, G5 was clear, no? No, no, pawn was on, uh, rook was on B4 that time, no? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, he is also pushing. Now the king is cut off, man. This is not cool, no? The king should have been somewhere up. No, the king ah, is... Like in, uh, white has to, white cannot move the king. White has to only make a rook move right now, so... No, but this is an uh, easy draw, no? He will always keep on playing ah. king F1. Earlier, it was not a possibility to play like that. No, but king f1 only when the rook moves. No, like right now the king cannot move. It's like a zigzag position for the yeah, king. Yeah, they have drawn the game. Drawn. They have drawn the game. So it was expected, but only some slight uh, tricky position was going to come up. Okay. Yeah, now... I thought Nubir had the upper hand, right? Yeah, he had the upper had hand. But now he is going to play with the white pieces. And let's see, again, d4. They have started with the d4, both the games. Okay. And just to let the viewers know, uh, yesterday, uh, the, in the ninth round, Nubair and Harsha Bharat Koti, they played against each other and Harsha won the match. So maybe like uh, they are going to have uh, 
more interesting it games huh? it is interesting atul if you just saw a uh, nuper artificially castled for some reason should be focha ki blade king f1 g3 king g2 so maybe maybe he wants to go out of the theory right from the first ten moves <laughs> yeah yeah chess praise uh, vinod bhai is saying like she didn't know me uh, yeah But yeah, no, I didn't know. I didn't know. Yeah. Uh, when you took his name yesterday, when you were replying to him, then I was like, "Oh, that's him." Okay. Oh, look at the move. Look at the move. He played G4 move. He is not afraid of his king. <laughs> G5 is a threat, no? Bishop. Yeah, G5 is is a threat. But I'm just saying, like, he is just playing very aggressive chess. What do you think? Like, H6 or G6? Uh, imagine for H6, uh, Nubir will H4. Just imagine. <laughs> I know it's not right, but I'm just saying. It's Why like not right like okay forward. nobody is going to attack on your king right now so maybe you can play No but uh, is it going to help you is the question h4 i don't know uh, yeah I means uh, it will help or not that's a different story but uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay he goes for c5 he says like i'm going to play in the center of the board d5 okay fine yeah i got some squares for the bishop oh he also. exchanged he exchanged mm. now e5 yeah he played e5 now the position is close and this bishop Will be a little a bit sad, bishop, yeah. No? Bad bishop. It it might feel like a little bit sad. <laughs> Actually, the e seven knight may have some good future in this game, right? Ah, you are very clever to spotting all these kind of holes. <laughs> yeah, knight knight of four. If it comes, but okay, we have this bishop, no? But okay, white. Uh, if exchanges this bishop, then uh, this bishop will be bad. So in a way, it will be good bishop against the bad bishop. What do you think? Yes. Uh, right now, both the bishops are not great, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah, I think the uh, light black light squared bishop will at least have some attack. Even if you keep it on a six in the future, at least c four is being attacked. Just ah. hold on, Akshay. I'll be one minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take your time. Take your time. By the way, thirty three people are watching. Thirty four likes. I I hope that some of you might be new here. So please do like the stream and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. Okay. and uh, help us to reach more people the more you will uh, like the stream more we will reach uh, to like uh, greater audience so thanks for being there whoever is there and do support our channel by liking the stream nandini are you back yes i'm back okay cool so there are certain uh, players are talking about bishop c2 and bishop a4 and putting this bishop on this diagonal that might be oh wow <laughs> both players are saying like we are not going to care about our kings <laughs> H5 has been played, and the, uh, you can see the screen, right? Yes, yes, I can see. Yeah. So H5, he wants to open up the game. Miss, like this rook is. Uh, But what about G5 here? What if I just block it? Okay. Okay, he did not block. It. Yeah, Nuber is also saying like I also want my rook to be there on the H5. If you want to open, open it. I'll wait. <laughs> yeah. So Queen D2 has been played, and where do you think that this bishop will be going? Uh. G five probably no. Uh, G five, but F six uh, is the idea. Ha, huh, but then return like. Yeah, then, then return. Then create a weakness. Yeah. Like okay. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's really a weakness because I don't know. But I have a question. Okay, White's king is on G two. Uh, it looks fine to me. Maybe Rook G one, King F one might be one of the idea. What do you think about Black's king? He's probably planning to go Queen side, if not King side. If the King side is blocked, he may go King side. Uh, Otherwise, queen side. Basically, no? it, it depends it, upon the blocking or something. But uh, it has or danger. Or even the center it, actually. That yeah, is center. Even on e seven, oh, I'm just saying, if everything is blocked, even on e seven, for example, would not be bad. <laughs> Considering white does not get knight h four, knight f five. Ah, okay. Maybe you mean to say like uh, this thing? But okay, uh, at least till the knight on g six is there, this exactly. is not going to happen. So uh, yeah, both the kings are safe. Do you think that this game will go into the end game? Has to go right. I mean, if I were white here, I would go G five. Okay, you will go G five and you will block the position. Yeah, I oh. would try to also play on. But the but I have one question. Okay, Nandini, if you play G five, your this bishop is not that active. We know this thing. You will block your own uh, dark square bishop also. Yeah, but I uh, but I I thought I can maybe play A four A five something on the queen side maybe later. Ah, okay. Your plan is to go for the queen side. Okay, they exchange on H five. But now the knight will be getting this f4 square. Exactly. I, ah. I, why? Why would um, we do that? <laughs> and uh, look at the time this time. This time Harsha is the one who is having one minute and thirty six <laughs> second. The colors have reversed now. 
Miss Nubair, yeah. Nubair, uh, like uh, try to find out something, and uh, suddenly black is very comfortable. I like black's position because of this knight on f4. This is the hole you found out earlier, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he has picked <laughs> up on that thing. <laughs> It's probably listening to me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. They are very, very focused. But uh, okay, <laughs> I hope they are not listening to us. Okay, bishop c2. Okay, this bishop is trying to get some life on a4. It's got some life, but is it enough? Is the question? Is it enough to live? We don't uh, know. Okay, bishop c6. Okay, rather than dying in your own uh, field, he's saying like, okay, I'll die here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, chess wide view is saying like I like black position even though engine. Okay, we don't need to work yeah, out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, <laughs> I just noticed something. Okay, it doesn't make. It's not working here. Okay, I thought. I yeah, actually it is working. I uh -huh. just noticed something. Imagine there's no rook on h4, black rook. Then knight uh -huh. h7 will be like a queen trap. But h4 h4 square would be there. Ah, I was h4 just square. Seeing, like there. trying. Yeah, I was just trying to see if you could trap okay, the queen because queen is not having squares. <laughs> but the h3 pawn is about to fall. I believe so. Is it? How? Miss, miss, we are attacking one, two, three attackers are there. We just need one more attacker, and then and the pawn. And that only the queen can become. If you play king d8, king c7, queen d8, queen d7. Oh my god, that is like. A... <laughs> <laughs> But in that meantime, your idea of playing a4, a5 will be very interesting, huh? Opening up the line, right? Yeah. Yeah, opening up some lines on the other side of the board. That will be very interesting. And uh, Anup is saying like Nubair will need to manage his time. Of course, like he needs to manage his time, and uh, he's having 14 seconds now. Okay, but the time difference is getting very low now. Like uh, yes. Harsha is also thinking in the position. So we never know. This knight on g5 is actually holding on to everything. If it's not there, then the white's position will be collapsing. See, yeah, Atul, I'm telling you, they're listening to me. Just look at that. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, he he is he's going for the h3 pawn. And okay, this knight on g5. I I was talking about knight on g5. If this knight is not there, then definitely it will be falling. So he gave up the pawn, but uh, he is thinking to get some counterplay with the a5. Okay, fine. Oh, b5 pawn is gone, and now the king, king, king is also there. Harsha is having yeah. great position now. This is not cool. I think this Harsha is not should be winning this. Yeah, right? this should be winning like for him. Uh, because this bishop did not uh, get any chance. Miss, okay, he played one move, but after that it was kind of difficult. How about rook b one? Oh, he played rook b one. I was also thinking of that. Mm. This king is very badly placed. I think there is a uh, very less like hope from the west side that he will get something in this uh, case. Okay, tough time, tough time. But uh, you know, anything can happen in time pressure. <laughs> Anybody can make a mistake. But okay, no. this these two pawns are also very strong. They are just going to roll up. Oh, c3 pawn is gone now. Oh, okay, it's over. Yeah. It's over. Oh, it's over. The queens are exchanged. The pawns are rolling. This rook will try to come back, but okay, this is difficult. Check. Oh my God, <laughs> that was insane checkmate. That was insane checkmate. Okay, I'll I'll get the view uh, like uh, both the uh, both of them on the yeah. screen also here, and yeah, we'll yeah, yeah. talk with them for a while. Uh, you come there. Niji, well played, man. Niji, well played, man. Uh, hi. Uh, hi. 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 So, 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 so guys, like, can so, you? So guys, like, can you? Mm, can you start? Can you start? Are you listening to me? Are you listening? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we if somebody needs okay, to we, share somebody the. Somebody needs to share the game. Can you go to the live? Uh, Can you go to the live? Uh, live. Chat. Will, first name. First name. One minute. One minute. One, one minute. One minute. My echo is happening. My okay. echo is happening. Okay. Now is it fine? Now is it fine? Uh, somebody has put the somebody loudspeaker. Somebody has put the loudspeaker on. On uh, because on. it's echoing there. Because it's echoing there. Uh, I don't know exactly what's happening. Exactly what's happening. By the way, you can uh, follow By your game. Right? You can uh, follow your game. Right? Is it okay? Is it fine now? Is it okay? Is it fine now? Uh, How better? Uh, How better? 
no 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 uh, atul is it on your side uh, atul is it on uh, your side uh, both of their voices icon both of their voices icon yeah i am just checking mm -hmm. that on yeah i am just checking that on if the speaker the speaker i am for me i am for me just one minute okay just one minute okay are we live are yeah we are we are we are live yeah, we, are, we are we are live on the day i cannot see the day i cannot see <laughs> Okay, okay, you you can tell me what. Okay, you can tell me what's between me and Hacha. No, it's between me and Hacha. Okay, actually, okay, actually, I was losing. One minute, one one minute, one minute, one minute. How many minutes? How many minutes? How many? What what? Why it is echoing? Just one minute. As guys, give me some time, okay? Yeah, eco is there. I'm. I'm trying to fix it somehow. I don't know. Before some time, everything was perfect. Okay, now uh, you can hear me or not? You cannot hear me, right? microphone can, can you hear me uh -huh. now it now it's still there <laughs> what happened man i i really don't understand okay we will we will just have the interview with the eco now because it it will keep on going Okay, can can you like uh, come in the gun? This this game, can you come in the game? Can you come in the game? I said like last time somebody was sharing the screen. Uh, can you come in live chess? Who is there? okay i will if i share my screen that is also a problem you know the game right should i talk about them okay yeah all fine really now it's fine really okay guys please tell me if there is a eco or not it's fine okay now it's fine okay chalo then so uh, in the second game what, what uh, where you wanted to talk about can you please no where you are telling me something right yeah no yeah eco is fine now it's fine <laughs> you still don't. on which number move in the second game or are you talking about the first game Ah, okay. First game, no. I I need to get your first game later. Like, like, why not? Okay, we have the first game on the board. 
कैन यू प्लीज टेल मी द मूव्स D45, C4, C6, मूव नंबर फॉर यू एल्सो ऑल्सो इट्स इकोइंग because before some time everything was perfect <laughs> okay that, okay that, that, <laughs> okay, that, okay. <laughs> now now is it fine like now, now, now is it fine like uh, now okay we still have it we but still for have it, it but okay, for like, you is it okay still. like but then we'll just still. go like then we'll just go like this. Yeah, yeah, we will go like this. Yeah, one. yeah, we will go like this. Okay, okay I think this is okay. going yeah, something. We will start with the next game. We can talk maybe about the game afterwards. Maybe about the game afterwards. But overall, how was? Uh, it, overall, we'll just talk about. Okay, it was okay. It was actually. Uh, I mean, in both the games, like okay, first game it was very difficult, and even in the second game, I think he should, he took G into H5. I didn't understand. I didn't understand why, but if he had played G5, then. I think actually my plan was you know uh, when you played this uh, what uh, I wanted to go h4 h5 immediately like uh, I played this bishop e3 you know for no reason like yeah I thought in, in uh, h4 okay you play not knight g6 I play bishop g5 f6 uh, okay yes, so are you talking knight. about the first game 15 oh, second, second game second 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 ah second game okay okay yeah let knight me get to the game g4 get let me get to the game like uh, I thought 22 but you have knight e5 so I'm not getting the pawn but maybe yeah. if I just play Uh, like viewers should also understand something. <laughs> Go slow, man. Go slow. Go slow. Okay, can you please tell me the move number? Uh, kider. Bishop e3 ke jagah pe move number. Yeah, Bishop e3 is thirteenth move. Thirteen, yeah, thirteen. Okay. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Then. So, he played h5 move. He played h5. Yeah, just h4. Yeah. You want to play h h4 after h5 or b b instead of Bishop e3, you want to play h4. Instead of Bishop e3. Ah okay. Yeah, I started G, uh, Desi with G4, na. So, pura karna chahiye tha. Like I, I did half. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think instead of G4, you could have played something like H4 and. Man, just play the... after H4, man. I don't, uh, don't question my G4. Yeah, means your I, idea I, is to play H4, H4, H5, G5. I want to play all G4, H4. I mean, all out. And uh, Nubir, uh, like I had another question. Like you played G into H5, right? I mean that ah, game night night h five night f four it seemed like black or lots of play like why didn't like g five was it going against your uh, g five uh, like in this uh, game uh, like the point was you wanted to like, attack uh, I got your point like g five h four and I can try to hold that mm -hmm. uh, but the point is like he had two knights and also I have double pawn so I like uh, the guy with two knights is always better in a close position like this yeah but the where the knight on f six will go that was like the okay first will man you no knight h seven knight f eight uh, something in d seven ah uh, okay so, miss knight f seven actually I thought if g five then Like I'll just move my king, king d8, king c7, and rook f8, f6. So we we'll enjoy the position. That is why. <laughs> <laughs> you will go stay uh, slow and steady. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, thought that okay. Anyway, like I didn't play h4, so like I have to gamble now because. Okay. He, 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 these guys are not able to hear anything. Oh. Is, is it really? Guys. On uh, YouTube. Actually, uh, here it is not echoing for a long time. Now it's, it's not perfect. Echoing. Yeah, yeah, it's right perfect on. actually. Now, yeah. It's perfect, right? Guys, please let us know everything is perfect. Yeah. Take it to the blender. No issues. Uh, what? What? Ameya, Ameya. No issues. Ah, Ameya did. Okay. Now it's fine. No. Okay. Okay. अरे Ameya भाई क्या क्यों क्यों करते हो भाई ये? That's what I was not understanding. I like uh, in the first game everything was perfect and suddenly yeah, yeah. it uh, changed everything. Okay. ठीक है. Fine. Fine. But everything is cool now and. Uh, Okay, this was very interesting game, but okay. Once the knight got a uh, the square on f4, I think it was very difficult, right? Yeah, like yeah, I, I can slowly. I mean, I should slowly... play h4 only. Like if I play g4, then yeah, like if I if you say a, you must say b as well. Correct, correct. After correct. that, okay, Harshal just better. I mean, and he played very good. Yeah, he played also. But okay, interesting game. Both of the uh, both the games were really interesting. The second game was very wild. Like you decided to play g4, and it uh, complicated everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was like a all out thing. Miss, first of all, Nandini and uh, we, uh, Miss, I was also a little bit uh, 
kind of surprise when you artificially cancelled it. Why didn't you cancel no. directly? <laughs> well, I have done this successfully against Botanic Hikaru, so. <laughs> <laughs> So the most surprising thing was you went king f1, king g2, and g4. You know, and uh, your plan. And g4, yeah, of course. Like, of course, g4 is anti-positional. But okay, I mean, he played bishop f6 and knight b. So Madison is like, I'm mean, like, what are you doing? But I think it's working. Like, if I play g4, h4 immediately, instead of bishop e3 was best. Otherwise, it's like very good. Yeah, means you wasted uh, one move, and that. Yeah, uh, there I took time. Like, I wanted to play this h4 thing, but uh, I was not sure about uh, this knight g6. Yeah. I think I'm sure. Yeah, and I like his move bishop into c3 also. That was a very good positional move. Yeah, like he yeah, gave up his. That, I, that's kind of like only if I don't take it, and like I have to take and push if I or it's just completely bad for me after that. If yeah, I don't obviously. Take the knight. Yeah. And there is one opening also, no, that uh, you play g6, uh, bishop g7, and you capture on c3, and then yeah, you play so, f5 yeah. move. I don't know the yeah, opening's yeah, name, yeah. but that is like a, a very standard plan which you played. I think yeah. Ruber also played that uh, opening in some rapid game or something. I remember. Mm, I mean, Do you remember that G6, Bishop, G7, Bishop into C3 and then you play F5? B4, G6, C4, Bishop, G7, Knight, C3, C5. Yeah, D5 C5. takes and F5. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Is yeah. 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 So I you... think a very similar idea is even there for white, right? White goes B3, Bishop, B2, Bishop, F6. I mean, I've seen that a lot of times. Nationals yeah. also. I've seen Mahalik yeah, yeah, yeah. and others play yeah. it. So it was very original game, I must say. Like nowhere you like did the half desi attack. Yeah, that was so good. <laughs> maybe I could have converted the first one itself. Like he was not that in shape, maybe. Yeah, but in you... first game you were leading by one point also. Huh? Means you were like having a lot of uh, time on the clock. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I just you, I messed yeah, up. They... Like I completely missed this. You know, I need to. Look, C three. Ah, yeah. I mean, I'm uh, I'm not uh, maintaining the pawn. Like in the first game you are talking about when Look C three. First, first game, the end game part. Uh... Okay, chalo, good luck, Harsha. Yeah, yeah, okay. that, that, we will, we will. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we will thank start you. with the thank, thank you both of you for yeah, okay. and uh, yeah. all the best, uh, Harsha, for the semi-finals. Okay, we will okay. start thank with you. the second one. Okay, chalo then. Yeah. Okay, bye Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thank you, Nubai, yeah. for Please joining us. Please turn the cameras. Yeah, yeah. For the screen sharing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was uh, cool, Nandini. Starting me, there was some uh, hiccup related to the eco. <laughs> now it is fine. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to go to Skype? Okay. Okay. I'll. I'll. Yeah, I need to go to Skype. Yeah, correct, correct. I told you need to uh, get back. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Now, now I am back. I think I'm back. Uh, am I back now? Here? Can you hear me properly? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yeah. and uh, and the viewers also. I think they. Uh, might be. I'll just get the players, uh, their cameras here. Uh, like uh, the next match is between uh, Pranav, I guess. Can you please tell me Pranav and uh, uh, Pranav versus Harshad? Yeah, Harshad. These are the two youngsters are going to play against each other now, and uh, that will be uh, interesting. Okay, now everything seems to be perfect for me. Yeah, Pranav is there. Harsha is, Harshad is also okay. Harshad's side camera I have uh, put up. How to get his uh, normal camera? Okay. Harshad, okay, normal camera. Okay, I'll just get this. Okay, now it is fine. I think so. Nandini, can you please tell tell me on the screen it I'm, is perfect. I'm watching your stream, but uh, it is there's a lag, right? Yeah, there is so a lag, but I, I, yeah, now it is fine. Yeah, now I, I can see it. Yeah. yeah, so I will just click on uh, this follow thing, which uh, he has sent me. And we will, we are all set to go. Okay, the games will start in a while. Let me get the game. Okay, the games will start in a while. They have not started the game yet. Okay guys, uh, good game Nubair, yes, uh, next match starting guys, so keep liking the stream, how many likes do, did we get? 50 plus, I know, I saw that. Oh, that's cool. Guys, can we reach 100 likes before the semi-finals, I must say. <laughs> yeah, 54, so keep liking the stream, the next game is uh, about to start and it has started. Harshad is playing with the black pieces and uh, his uh, ID is born for chess, 007. I think he is a James Bond fan. Yeah, create poll. Yes, definitely. I want to create the poll. 
and uh, Pranav is playing with the white pieces. They have exchange. Uh, Nandini, I'll create the pool. By that time, you can talk uh, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've shared the uh, game. Yeah, if you've shared it, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I... so we have the Sicilian defense and the Rosolimo variation. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's where white plays bishop e5. And this is all just normal. So e5, knight e4, knight d2. This is all just normal. Both are developing their pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, black is going to castle. White will get rook c1. Let's see how it goes. Let's see how they're going to continue. H4, wow, okay, that's nice. H4 is a nice move, actually, taking control of the G5 square. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, I have created the poll. I hope that uh, these guys will get the poll. And uh, keep uh, keep uh, voting who you are going to, like, who, who are your support, like, here. Pranav or Harshad, okay. Should I get to the you know, game now? Uh, hmm? Yes, Atul, hmm. you know, in these positions, you miss the uh, light squared bishop. If you have a <laughs> light squared bishop, you can say white is winning. <laughs> but there's no light squared bishop. It's like, you really miss it. Yeah, really missing it. Uh, miss, I have played this position from black side, to be honest. And uh, I I somehow feel like this bishop, dark square bishop, is going to be the defender on c3. It will stop everything uh -huh. on this uh, file. And it will say like to the other pieces that go and attack on the king side. That is like the and, uh, one thing. What are black's ideas then in this position? Uh, black's like, idea is mm, okay. maybe, yeah, but there's no not, here. Right now it is not there. But sometimes you can go for f6. f6. Yeah, f6 is also something which is possible. Or you can double the rooks on the c file. Just try to be there on this file because uh, d4 is also a weakness which white cannot just uh, just cannot leave. And uh, how about Black's idea of Bishop D8, Bishop B6? Ah, okay. You want to play like this? Ah, in case, you know, just to put pressure. I don't know. Not right now, but you know, oh, as your game. Yeah, progress. as uh, we are talking about the weakness on D4, definitely it is a possibility. And uh, there is something joke is going on. 007 is the code for license to kill. <laughs> so born for chase and license to kill. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. And uh, let's see. Uh, B4. Oh, he's saying like I want to exchange the pawn at any cost. <laughs> today, the, nice, to, right? to, today the chat is lively. Huh? Yesterday there was something going on, but today it's spam going on. Today, today it's very nice. Uh, so thanks for being such a sporty chat today. Okay, thank you very much, chat. Do uh, Bishop D8 move. That's the power of WIM. So Nandini, you are already declared as a WIM now. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm already a WIM in everyone's heads. <laughs> okay, Gautam is saying like Harshad was born in uh, 2007. Maybe, probably it might be the one of the reasons why he has put 007. But we cannot deny the possibility that uh, he is James Bond uh, fan. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the knight is finally on the a5 square, which we were talking about. So he made sure that first I will play b4 and then I will get the knight on a5. Yes. But white got b3, tops knight c4, but b3 pawn becomes weak, right? Yeah, this is a potential but, weakness, but... But knight on, has to remain on a5 to attack it. Yeah, and so, queen should also come in the game. Then only you can uh, take some advantage of the b3 weakness. Otherwise, this bishop will never uh, hit the b3 pawn even if it does anything. It cannot change the color. <laughs> yeah. I got some other idea in my mind, but it's mm -hmm. not, it's, uh, doesn't, not really working. I was thinking of exchanging the dark squared bishop with bishop g5 and then playing queen c3 mm -hmm. and trying out something, but it does not really work. Uh, but in end game to get a better position yeah, he, sometime he, he, in the future. He, is, he has already moved the knight. He's understood that yeah. on a5, the knight doesn't really have that much great future. So just move it to the other place. But where? Where is the question? I, I have a very nice square, f5. I don't know. It's maybe it's. You, a, but white can also play g4 and stuff, no? And stop. Yeah, yeah, you can play it, but uh, definitely on a5 it was not doing that great job. On c6 it is at least doing something. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday all are busy in playing. Yes, of course. Ashwin Prabhu, ignore Opi. No, no, no. We are not ignoring anyone. We are reading the chat. <laughs> and guys. I, uh, had, another, I mm -hmm. had another question, Atul. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ask me. Again, this will sound crazy, but when knight c6 was played, right? Mm -hmm. Should I go to what that if, position? Yeah, what if yeah. knight c4 was played there? 
Ah, okay. You want to play? Do you want to sacrifice? See, you <laughs> we were discussing, and you said the queen has to be traded. The pawns have to be pushed. I'm finding every possible way to push the pawns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a interesting possibility knight c4 bc4 and then dc4 and then queen needs to yeah. move and maybe you can push the pawn to c3 square i don't know i don't know what's happening i'm just saying yeah but know, okay white can... white has two pieces to block the pawns but it is definitely an interesting try but uh, he uh, he played it safe and this is the current position on the board okay they are heading towards the center of the board and maybe the queens will be exchanged and who do you prefer playing in this position white white Because okay space advantage uh, yeah and black can't really do anything that's why <laughs> like it's only white who can go maybe g5 or something or do something ah. if white does not do anything then black has to sit back doing nothing that's mm. what i'm thinking so correct correct and sachin is saying like someone please buy fair she lovely for uh, fair and lovely i think he say for the dark squared bishop <laughs> <laughs> well uh, technically i don't really think so that fair and lovely will change your color <laughs> but okay fine and why should it it should not <laughs> you're unique the way you are <laughs> yeah yeah but it was like okay we will take it as a joke and <laughs> okay g6 has been played on the board okay black wants to open up something on the king side but yeah, this, is very, this is very this is pawn atul Mm, means if you capture on g6 you mean to say like uh, this this captured and then the h pawn will be a passed yeah, pawn yeah 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 ah okay okay now okay. this bishop at 6 no oh yeah check and then you can capture on h5 oh he missed missed this thing or oh, he did not okay at 6 pawn anyhow he is going to get or what what is his uh, idea if king g7 comes uh, okay can you see the time difference yeah harshad is harshad is having minutes. only 8 uh, seconds and pranav is having 1 minute 15 seconds that's a huge time yeah. difference i must say yeah okay this is very difficult position for harshad already because the pawn on h6 is uh, okay okay now this is the reason probably atul why he did not go to capture bishop h6 directly because then we anyway getting the pawn but i have an idea that uh, the d4 pawn can be captured but okay then this uh, f7 pawn means if we capture on h6 we can capture on d4 with the bishop capture mm. capture capture but okay this king cannot really go anywhere and we will be capturing on h6 in the end uh the king can go right you can still go king no, c5 no this pawn king this pawn is there no? no but it's in the square right king c5 king b5 king a5 just still in the square ah right 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 it will it will still be there in the square and then you can stop the pawn and then start pushing this pawn very interesting idea oh he plays bishop g1 okay he needs to find so, out a plan thing? he needs to find out a plan to win I think Pranav. Are yeah, they are waiting, and Pranav is figuring out which end game he should go for. Hmm. This is. Uh... Oh, he finally captured on h6. But yeah. it is not necessary to capture on uh, d4. I think it is winning, right? At least what we saw, knight h6 should be winning for white. Yeah, right? should be winning for white. Yeah, that's what we saw. Yeah. Oh. But d4. What? Okay, he wants to capture on f6. Ah uh, no, uh, no 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 I don't think so this is cool this is cool I don't think so it is cool. So the black king is also stuck there, right? I don't yeah, think. Yeah yeah black king is stuck and basically these pawns are very strong. He cannot mm -hmm. uh, even attack any of the pawn. I think white so is. So a five b four can fall any time. So. Yeah these are the pawns on the last one. So for now just cruise through this because of the time pressure most probably his position was not that bad but he kept on pushing the pawns and. Uh, Okay, as we saw, like in the previous games, also pawn made a big difference. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, oh, checkmate. Cool. So, Pranav won the game quite comfortably, and they will be going for the next game. So, the battle of uh, youngsters is going on here. And okay, born for chess is going to means he needs to win this game, right? In order to stay yeah, in the fight. Yeah. He needs to win. Yeah. To stay. Yeah. He must win. Guys, do like the stream and uh, do support our channel and. Uh, you can vote for the players that is also something which you can do okay let's see let's see we can we reach 100 likes today can we reach 100 like oh f6 move seriously he wants to support the pawn on e5 he wants to play i'm going uh, to play solid yeah actually in a exchange variation a lot of times black plays f6 but i don't know so soon you play f6 that i don't know but you play f6 sometime or the other later yeah means i have seen so, and i have played also uh, f6 move but after capturing on d4 sometimes means uh, okay not exactly in this position but uh, in the exchange variation only i played uh, f6 aha uh -huh. 
Uh, but he, he did a very interesting castling idea here. Means he first uh, rerouted the knight to f7 square and then he is going to uh, castle most probably by putting the bishop yeah. on g7. Yeah. Yeah. How old is Harshad? Harshad, uh, if he is 2007 born, he is uh, 14 years old. Yeah. Yeah, win on demand. He needs to win on demand. Exactly. That's what uh, <laughs> I was saying. g4. Okay. Here also G4. He wants to play aggressive chess and... Uh, I mean, he has to, right, Atul? Yeah. Because he's castled on the queen side. It's basically maybe opposite side castling. So, mm -hmm. he has to play on the other side, G4. Now, the point is, what is Pranav going to do? Pranav is the one who should make, take the decision here. Mm -hmm. What is he going to do? But castling here, it is also a risky decision for him. Don't you think so? I, I Yeah, but I think... Probably the king had to castle, right? You don't think so? What What do you think? Mm, but okay, you, you played h5, but if I capture here and put the bishop rook on the g file, then what? Oh my yeah. goodness, knight h4. knight h4. We missed this thing. g6 pawn is the one which is not going to be supported. Oh my god, he is going to lose the pawn. I can play. Was h5 a mistake? I think yeah, so. Yeah, basically right? it was a mistake. There. Yeah, you should have castled there. Castled. Ah, okay. Harshad is going to win on demand or what? He is already getting a pawn and the pawn structure is already messed up on the queen side and the pawn structure on the king side is also going to be messed up. So it is not going to be that easy for uh, Pranav now because this bishop on g7 looks a little bit sad. Pawn structure is okay, Apple. What about the pawn on g6? What are you going to do? The no, you, 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 you can't do anything about that pawn. That pawn is going to fall for sure. Yeah. So I think we are going to see the first Armageddon game. <laughs> I'm sure the viewers were actually waiting for an Armageddon Yeah, game. they will love to have Armageddon game today. And uh, do you know the time control for the Armageddon game if it's going to happen? I will just uh, tell the viewers. Okay. Yeah, if the it's Armageddon... Really... Yeah, if it, it is happening, then white will be getting 5 minutes and black will be getting 4 minutes. And black just needs to draw the game. Uh, in order to proceed to the next round means to win the game basically and there will not be any increment in this uh, armageddon game so okay winning on demand by this youngster it will be fun to watch but as we know anything can happen in time pressure when it is uh, like this kind of three minutes are there anything can happen so we cannot just but the possibility is there that's what we are talking about so let's see aditya behrai singh prana opi okay there is one uh yeah Poll time, how many uh, want an Armageddon? <laughs> okay, the uh, until now, uh, Armageddon, yeah, we, maybe I need to end the first poll and then start the new poll. Then, then should we have a new poll? Definitely, you can have one. Yeah, do you think? Okay, let's go to the next poll. And guys, can we reach 64 likes first? So, we should complete one uh, chess board at least with the likes. Keep liking the stream, okay. If you are enjoying the games the played by our youngsters and uh, very uh, strong players, then definitely you can do. Do you think that the game will go into the armor? Do you think there will be an there will be an or a? I don't know. An. An. Arma. Get on. Okay. The spellings. I hope that uh, it will be perfect. <laughs> Okay. He has uh, somehow protected the pawn on g6, okay? Miss, okay, the h pawn is there, but you cannot capture it here because the pawn uh, rook on uh, knight on h4 will be hanging. And if you capture on g6, then also, uh, okay, you need to capture here. But okay, the pawn on g6 will be falling for sure. But they are playing very simple and uh, solid chess. They are not in even in hurry to capture the pawn on g6 or not even the pawn on g6, but also the pawn on h5. Quite H3 patient. Will also fall, no? H3 pawn will also fall. Yeah, H3. So, like, Pranav is fighting. Pranav is fighting very hard. He knows that he needs to draw the game in order to just uh, proceed to the next round. And uh, Harshad must win. Uh, Harshad is in must win situation. Finally, castle. <laughs> Final castling is there. But, okay. I like White's position a lot. Yeah, obviously, White's position is uh, very strong. And, uh, Oh, rook g1 he is going for the bishop on g7 but he will move it somewhere mm. how about e2 double <laughs> oh. attack oh yeah he, Whoa, played, he it. played it he played it and he supported the pawn on a6 by the way the pawn on a6 is not falling right now it but will... the rook is very poor right 
Rook yeah. is very poor. Oh, B4. he goes for B4. He's saying like, okay, I just want to capture that Rook. And rook A3, King B2, King right? B2, yes. Rook A3 means King will be coming on B2 square and the Rook will not be having any squares. The Rook needs to just capture the Knight on C3. That's the only thing that can happen on the board, I think so. Oh, no, 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 no. That's Then White has Queen A6, King B8, Bishop A7, King A8, Bishop B6 and that checkmate. Ah... Okay, if you capture here, you are not going to capture the rook. You are yeah, going nah, to capture. <laughs> okay, there is one simple checkmate also which I saw. Ah, queen A7, Queen A7, Queen A8. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, fine. Naturally, he... you get the pattern on your mind, right? You are like, oh, Bishop A7, we have a nice pattern. <laughs> yeah, he, he uh, okay, he goes for the B5 pawn. Goes for the B5 pawn. This should not be difficult for white. Mm hmm King, King D8 has been played. Okay, white is very comfortable plus the bishop on uh, H8. Okay. Wow, we are going to have our first Armageddon game. <laughs> but I wonder like uh, who is going to do the toss here? Like are they going to uh, go for the toss? Maybe Vivek, if you are listening to the stream, please let us know how uh, we are going to decide about the color of the players. Can you please tell us like because I feel like this is going to be in the Armageddon and uh, we need to decide about the colors very soon. There will be a toss or what? If Vivek is there just uh, tell us. Vivek are you there? How I'll just message him how the colors for the next game. Toss or what? I think he will uh, Check it out, the message which I have sent him. Okay, Nandini. Have you ever, like, uh, okay, Vivek has written, I will show pawns of both colors. Ask someone to pick uh, who gets white, has choice to select the color. Yes. Okay, okay. Uh, general, general chess <laughs> wala, uh, picking color or you can say toss. <laughs> yeah, 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 correct, correct. Thanks, Vivek, for uh, clarifying the thing because I was confused about the how the colors are going to be decided. And that's an interesting thing. They are going to decide about it. So we will come to know in some time who is going to have white or black. Vivek, uh, just do this thing. Message me or message in the chat or somewhere that who won the toss and uh, what is that. Okay. Please let us know. Okay. Now, but I like it. The fighting spirit. And uh, this is what youngsters are like made up of. Like they, okay, the game is over. Yeah. The game is over. Okay. Cool. So okay. We, we have a minute at least, I guess, or two in between. Yeah, yeah we will have at least one minute. But okay, what a crazy game. We must say like a great fighting spirit by uh, Harshad here. And uh, I think they are about same age here, right? And uh, okay, here we were talking about, right? Okay, we'll ask the players also, yes. but uh, until the game, like the, all the toss and everything will be decided. We'll wait for a while here and... Uh, See, F6. He has played F6, so he definitely knows. Uh, obviously, obviously, he must be knowing yeah. like where he is going in this game and where he is going to put the bishop also. <laughs> and exactly. Butterscotch is saying like, yes, like the stream and subscribe to the channel. Yes, guys, do like the stream and subscribe to the channel. Thoda sa enthusiasm chai hai chat maybe hamare liye. We are trying it uh, our best to produce. Okay, Armageddon, uh, 93 people, 93% uh, people say like Armageddon is going to happen and uh, let's finish this game first. Yeah, I feel so sorry for <laughs> the 7% of the people who were not hoping for it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Miss, I, I know like the game was going on, but I, I just wanted to know the rule, nothing else. And the game was over like this. But okay, I, I like it when it goes to uh, the tie breaks like this. Okay, I'm waiting for Vivek's message who has won the toss. The way Harshad is smiling, I think he has won the toss. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Harshad uh, has won. Uh, do I need to click on the new link? Or... No, what do you mean by won the toss? I think it's just that uh, which color he got, right? He'll be just happy with the, which color he's more comfortable with over here, white or black. Ah, okay. Let, let's see, let's see. Uh, the games will start for sure in just some time. It will just start in some time. Okay. Here, Harshad is white, he said. Like, okay, the game... Uh, I, I think I clicked on the link. It should start. 
they they are having some time ideas okay the game has started harshad is white so it it is a must win situation for harshad he will be having uh, why 4 4 minutes both of them okay 5 minutes sorry i said sorry 5 minutes for harshad and 4 minutes for pranav and pranav need, just needs to draw this game oh this time uh, he did not go for exchange or what will he go for the exchange nice. No, 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 no. He's going for the D three line. Uh, going for uh, the D three line. Yeah, he's going for. And Pranav is playing the old version of this kind of fish because uh, you put uh, the G six bishop G seven. This is not the modern way to play uh, this thing. Okay, he has gone for the exchange, but after some time, almost similar position. At least the pawn structure, but it is much uh, like open. You can say it's too open. So here, guys, I will just tell you once again who are watching it here for the first time. The Armageddon game is being played here, and White must win this game in order to proceed to the next round. And Black just needs to draw this game in order to proceed to the next round. So again, uh, you can say like Harshad is in a must-win situation, and he has uh, taken the White side. One minute difference is there, and let's see what happens. Nandini, what do you think? What do you say? I. I I like white. <laughs> <laughs> you like white, okay? <laughs> yeah. I liked white. Uh, of course, e4 is weak, but I was just saying pawn islands weaknesses. White had much less than black. Though black had the double bishop advantage, which I didn't realize before I said that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Because yesterday I remember you were talking about this thing yeah, that yeah, whenever yeah. there are two bishops on the board, you always prefer that side. Yeah, yeah, I did not realize. I did not realize. Now I'm like, no, no, no. Now I'm going with. Now I'm going black. I forgot about the bishop. <laughs> I'll definitely go with black. Okay, okay, okay. The pawn on the e4 is gone suddenly from the board. It just disappeared. Why, man? Okay, bishop. Uh, two bishops are there. The, do you think that the attack will happen on the king side from white side? Yeah, is it a possibility? It might. Uh, they, he he might white, try for that thing. He might try for that. White's only chance now. If you have lost a pawn, what else? You have to try for it, right? Yeah, you have to try something on this side of the board. And uh, okay, fingers crossed. Who is going to get what? We really don't know. And uh, okay, the time is almost equal now. Three minutes and twenty thirty-two uh, seconds and seventy uh, seconds. Almost equal. Oh, he goes for f six. Why? Isn't the pawn was free? He wants to open up. That's why he played that move. Okay, fine. Rook e8. Okay, I have a very strong feeling that something might happen on the f file. Okay, I have that feeling. But okay, everything is protected. But I'm saying feeling like that. Sometimes you <laughs> feel something, right? <laughs> yeah, but the bishops are very strong, right? Oh that my god! Oh my god! He played queen h3. Do you realize why? Rook e4. Yeah, this move is coming. Rook e4 is coming on the board. He played that move. Wow. <laughs> Big blunder, man. He just lost one piece. God. Anything. He, he anything anything can happen any time. Anything can happen any time. Queen h3. He 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 went for this thing and okay. He, he just lost a piece for no reason. Uh. Okay, he has some pawns. How many pawns does he have? One, two, three, four, five, six. He has two pawns. Okay, at least he has some pawns. Not bad. Not completely pieced down. But rook e four was a surprising move. Queen h three. It was yeah, like both of them have played so fast. If you see the, the, the uh, sh I mean, you have so much time on the clock, right? The blunder mm. was unexpected. Yeah, it was completely unexpected, guys. The move which he played, Queen H three. Maybe he did not see Rook E four. Maybe Miss obviously he did not see Rook E four. <laughs> the hidden yeah. move which was played, but uh, okay, the game is still going on, and uh, okay, I know from my own experience, anything can happen when it comes comes to one minute or something like that. So. Let's wait. Let's wait. Uh, the mistakes can happen. Miss the position where uh, Black was having very comfortable position. He made a mistake. White can also make a mistake. So let's enjoy mistakes the game. Always right? happen. Yeah. Now, Anything. Mistakes always happen. Yeah, mistake. Yeah, just enjoy the game and uh, see what is going to happen. Bishop d4. Okay, he is going for the exchanges. Do you think that yeah. exchanging is a good strategy from White side? Yeah. It's up in material, right? Uh, but okay, so, your black is also having two extra pawns on the board. It's not like uh, yeah, he is completely pissed down. You can down. target those pawns, right? In the it's better end game will be better for white, right? You can put all pressure on the pawns. Yeah, you can put the pressure on the pawn. Uh, okay, he is ad adapting the strategy that okay, I have the pawn, I need to push my pawns. There is no other alternative in the 
case okay white is also very patient right white is not going for bishop into f6 or saying like that okay he said like that bishop on f6 is pinned i'm not going to capture it i'll just keep on playing yeah you captured <laughs> then i will capture yeah what is going on pa patience game the game uh as they say like chase is a game of patience and that's exactly oh i was for some time i was like feeling like okay rook e2 is going to come and the bishop on b2 but that i saw that bishop into f6 is a move <laughs> uh okay he is threatening that thing okay he is very clever he saw that thing he he was threatening rook to e2 mm. okay a5 okay rook f1 okay he is again going for the this kind of threats rook e3 rook e2 so black is kind of fighting it out huh? black is not giving up on the, on this thing and uh, has some counter play i believe right yeah Something some counter play is there and Okay, one more thing which I feel like if this pawn goes forward or something, if he can create a passed pawn, then it might give him more chances uh, on the board. But right now nothing is uh, great that is going to happen. And this queen is stuck. What's your opinion, Nandini? I think it's fine. I think because black's king seems to be comparatively safe, you know, like white cannot really attack it in mm -hmm. any way. Mm -hmm. okay, I think is the idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Knight g4 is the idea and the knight is going for the h6 pawn as well as the rook on uh, e3 and wherever the rook moves the queen will be capturing on h6 and then knight will be coming on f6 and uh, black king will be checkmated so what black is going to do that's a big question black is thinking in this position means pranav is thinking oh anji is also a super event greetings to all and congrats to atul amigo thank you thank you anji for uh, coming there in the chat and uh, like giving your greetings and wishes Thank you very much. I hope uh, Anji, uh, Miss uh, Nandi, you know Anji, right? Yes. She, yeah, she is uh, Anhela. That we streamed also together. Of course, you know. Yes, yes, yes. I know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there is some progress on the board. The there are some exchanges, and Black is having these two pawns, and Black will definitely try to push these pawns as much as possible. So, if the pawns reach to the fourth rank, I think Black will definitely get some great chances here. E five now. What is black going? No, no. D five is queen. D five. My bad. No, yeah, see that. yeah. So what? What are you going to do? Oh wow. D3. Rook D three. Rook D three. I was thinking like this. Rook needs to be there on the A file because this pawn is important. But uh, he thinks in different way. He goes for the. Oh, uh, nice, nice. Black is creating counter play. Okay, and you can see on the screen, uh, Nandini, uh, that Pranav mm -hmm. and Harshad both are damn focused in this uh, time. Means they are just focused and they are thinking and playing and thinking and playing. Okay. They want to win this thing <laughs> at any cost. Rook d3. Yeah. Okay, queen c2. They should not draw. Okay, knight goes to the d4 square. Now, queen can enter into the game. Queen can come. Yeah. No, but he did not get to the king. I was thinking like queen e3 might be a possibility here. Just yeah, trying to yeah. get the queen on the board. Exactly. But he did not go for that thing. Oh my god. Now, rook, b, rook b3. Oh, he did not go. I was thinking about rook b3, okay, to be honest. Like, knight b3 was not a possibility. <laughs> Because the queen on b2 was hanging in that case. Nice. Oh, queen check, queen g7. Okay, there are so many pawns. I think if queens are actually in this position, black can hold on to the position because three pawns are there now. Nandini, yeah, yeah. This is, I, this is, I agree, I agree. This is <laughs> not going to be that key. Oh, <gasps> shit. Knight fork. Knight. Check. He missed a check, I guess. It's falling with a check. I'm not so sure. No, even if there there was no check, like still it was uh, like that. He missed the knight no, fork. Queen was... Queen was hanging, you know, in B7. That was ah, ah, okay, 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 okay. Oh, that that was uh, crazy. That was crazy. And uh, okay, we will get the players here on the screen. I will uh, mute here. Okay. Yeah. I I just hope that this time we will not mess up. <laughs> okay. Hello, guys. Uh, are you there with me? Can you please unmute? Uh, congratulations Harshad uh, on winning you came back very strongly I must say you lost the first game and then uh, you bounced back in the second in must win situation and uh, okay this last game was very crazy yeah yeah but now a little bit disappointing uh, for you <laughs> what went wrong yeah, I think the first game I played well done actually because yeah. the second game I just missed night touch first yeah, knight h uh, knight h4. Yeah, yeah, that was a very surprising thing which uh, came up on the board. Just castle, which was, I mean, I think it was equal. Yeah, yeah. It was clearly winning there after uh, instead of queen h3, it was. 
yeah in this game no maybe i don't know whether you can uh, see my screen you cannot see my screen but you you can follow your game on your own screen uh the way you played uh, after b3 queen h3 was a very surprising move for us also uh yeah i just missed rookie for that. yeah you just bishop missed bishop 8 or anything bishop d4 anything yeah you bishop d8 was winning there yeah it should be and i think like even if you exchange the bishops the square bishop you are comfortable in that position no issues for you yeah, that was. and even in the end after 96 if i played rook f6 then instead of queen f6 still uh, i think i was okay there okay means uh, you mean to say like okay i'll just go to the position when 96 was played rook f6 is the move which ah right. that uh, yeah correct correct rook f6 knight of eight was a check I check think. check you missed the check in that thing and uh, then it was after queen f6 anyway the Queen was queen, but yeah, knight of it was Yeah, miss. Uh, in the end, you had three pawns for the knight, and uh, like if I even know. if the queens are exchanged, it is not that uh, like clear. That, yeah, if the queen is exchanged, I think it's an easy draw. Uh, even if I have three, then it's a quick draw. Yeah. Two pawns. Yeah. Yeah. Two, two, three, two past pawns are clear, and you have one extra pawn on the king side also. So yeah. that was not that difficult to hold on to the position. Harshad, what do you think? Like uh, that's what like. Uh, uh, I actually asked my host before that position. Uh, where where do you I want to? I was playing for him to play queen and three. Luckily, he played it. Oh, you were hoping for that thing? Yeah. Really? <laughs> I was really hoping for queen and three. Oh really? That's surprising. Like you were hoping for him to play queen and three. But queen and three is not a natural move, right? Uh, it's not like something, huh? Yeah, queen h3 it is not natural. Like, like simply moving the bishop. Yeah, yeah. Think... bishop moving is uh, something which I feel like is natural for anyone. But queen h3 uh, is. How about uh, bishop g2? Is there a tactic happening there with bishop g2 instead? Yeah, I mean, I mean almost instead of queen h3, I think every move is better for. Black. Yeah, yeah, everything was uh, good. Uh, queen h3 was a big blunder. Nothing else. And uh, in the last, last also, what do you think about the last game, like the Armageddon game, which uh, happened? I'll just uh, get that game once again here. Just one minute, okay? Yeah, we saw Harshad smiling. Like, were, were you smiling because you got white and you were happy you got white? Or yeah, when the toss exactly? happened. <laughs> no, I didn't expect it. Maybe I thought you. Yeah, I Miss, uh, I that you will win the that. toss that you did not expect, you are saying. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, la not last game. I was talking about the second game. I mean to say, in the second game, uh, okay, that that was. I'll just get the game. Okay, just one minute, and then uh, we will uh, like go to the other one. Second game is here. Just one minute, guys. We will get the game, and then we will proceed. Okay, in the second game, uh, the you missed knight h4. You you said. Uh, Hmm, h5 knight h4 I think. h5 knight h4 after that it was difficult not so easy yeah i think instead of uh, h5 castle there was yeah castling was uh, something which was which could have just kept on going the game in a normal way yeah, i mean after castle i could have i don't think he has an attack because you cannot play h4 g4 is mm -hmm. yeah. just to play some rook g1 and i think it's slow for that right like yeah. taken on before play knight e5 you could have defended after castle yeah obviously castling was something which he could have played so okay it was very hard luck for uh, pranav like uh, but uh, harshad you fought very well congratulations and uh, you will be going to the semis and thanks thank you very much for joining us here okay yeah. thank you very much so we will go to the next game now thank you guys bye, -bye. yeah let's come yes. back Uh, Nandini, we are back, I guess so. Yeah, 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 I'm here. <laughs> yeah, so let me get the cameras of other players and then uh, we will go to this thing. So, Aranyok versus uh, Mitraba Guha. Do you know they are from the same uh, this thing? What do you call it? Same state. Uh huh, okay. Yeah, so, they'll yeah. be knowing each other very well in that very, case. Very, very well. I, I, I hope so. <laughs> they know each other. Uh, no, I meant to say they are games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're yeah. knowing each other's games very well. <laughs> yeah. Just one minute. I'm getting uh, both of them on the screen. Uh, not Harshat. I, by mistake, I take out the Harshat. Aranyak, uh, I need to get, right? 
add pin okay arunak and uh, this both of are there and i just need to click on this thing so the games will be there one minute nandini the game i think they have started the game okay i forgotten their id so i cannot uh, follow yeah 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 yeah, yeah anyway, it's, it's there, anyway it's i was watching i was watching your screen only throughout so i don't need to put, put in <laughs> any work <laughs> yeah it, it it is it is there like our their games are there okay yeah i okay. can see you can see right yeah 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 why it is like this i'll just Somebody refresh lost connection you lost connection no no i don't think so i lost connection i i just refreshed my page now is it fine on yeah. the stream also it's fine yeah yeah it's fine it's fine yeah, yeah, so yeah. let's have a poll here let's have a poll here great, great fighting spirit by the way uh, by harshad here let's have one poll okay both of them were playing very awesome chess okay let's have one poll here uh, who do you think win okay so is already going into the end game it looks like it's already really going into the end. okay they are going for the exchanges huh? i am just putting the poll you just take care of the game okay yeah so yeah queen f6 idea is if white captures knight captures and develops itself so it's kind of a tempo black is gaining mm -hmm. and yeah uh, probably white is thinking where to move the queen does he basically exchange queen into f6 or just move something else oh he's moved the knight okay so now white is having the same idea if you capture my queen i capture plus my knight develops with the future idea on f4 it's not really doing much but Futuristic, it could go to d3, c5, d3, e5. So that is White's idea. Oh, okay. What is Black going to do? How is Black going to continue development? <laughs> That's a big question. Okay, I have put up the poll, guys. Uh, do do comment, uh, do vote for it. And uh, here you can see like Nilash is there, and Arunak is also there on the screen. Everything is cool now. Let's uh, yeah. talk about the game now. Okay. They both have uh, just a one point difference if you see on chess.com ratings. Yeah, just oh, really? I did not. Oh, wow, that's a very interesting stuff you found out. 2685 is Nila Saad rating and Aranyak uh, Ghosh is 2686. Maybe they are staying uh, very close to each other also. They are also in their town, I will say. <laughs> as yeah, far as I know, as far as I know, they, they are from uh, same state and uh, from same place also, Kolkata only. Maybe yeah, I'm... so they decided to stay together even on chess.com, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they are, uh, they are friends. Okay, the pawn on g7 is falling. What do you think? He just gave Sacrifice. up the pawn? Sacrifice. Sacrifice. For the, for the sake of getting some uh, activity, like rook g8 will be playing and uh, then the rook will be attacking the pawn Pro on g2. Probably considering the fact that knight on e2 is blocking f1 bishop. So maybe white will need a couple of moves to develop, right? Mm-hmm. So considering that maybe black will be faster in development, maybe that's why. Uh, Harshad's, uh, Harshad Satish, I think he, uh, oh, miss, they are talking about his father, I think. Harshad's father is there, Satish. Uh, thank you for being there in the uh, chat and watching the stream. Thank you very much, sir. And uh, they both play rarely, so their rating is uh, low. Oh, okay, okay, cool. <laughs> Uh, I mean, we did not really consider low for us. It's just the same. <laughs> the no, no, no. We are, we are just talking about the ratings are same, not yeah. low. <laughs> of course, they are international masters. So, okay, they, he has sacrificed the pawn and he got the pawn. And uh, okay, where do you think that pieces will be developed? This knight. knight? Okay. Future ideas, knight f five. Oh, Satish Gigi is international arbiter. That's uh, something interesting. Wow. Means in the chat, we have two international arbiters. Vivek is the one we have, who is uh, the chief arbiter of our tournament. And uh, we have uh, Satish sir also there. <laughs> okay, nice. Thanks for uh, being there in the chat. Queen of four, knight g4 has been played. Okay. Okay, after this uh, exciting games, this is something which is going slow and steady, I will say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's Harshad, not his father. Okay, it's Harshad. <laughs> okay, it's Harshad who is there. We thought like it's father. Okay, Harshad, it's your there. You played very good. Uh, 
interesting uh, game today let's see what happens in this game you can uh, predict also you can uh, uh, I, I hope that you have voted and guys uh, do like the stream whoever is there uh, we are very close to get 64 likes so do like the stream and let's make it one chess board with the likes okay knight f6 okay he goes back he's moving around with the knight and uh, knight g3 has been played and this bishop will be played yeah bishop d3 and maybe a uh, castling is the likely move which might happen on the next next thing am i the only non chess guy here <laughs> no no you are also a chess player i think so I was going to ask you, you think he's going to go long castles? I was going to ask you, I was like, no, maybe that's too much. He actually went long castles. <laughs> maybe, okay. Nilasa might be waiting for the long castle because like his rook is already there on the G file, right? So maybe that's why he went for the long castle and not getting under this uh, G file radar, miss this rook's radar, right? Okay. Yeah, also E4, I think uh, white is very comfortable, right? Yeah, very white com is very comfortable and white is having the great control of the center. Look at his pieces, like these two rooks are there, these two pawns are there and the knight and bishop. So everything is kind of very nicely placed in the center of the board. I won't be surprised if he goes for E5. Oh, okay, he captures there. He wants to say that, okay, I'm open going to up, oh, open up. Oh, knight this F5 knight F5, okay, he got the exchange. Ah, uh, okay, Aranek is already having great position, I think. It will not be that easy for Nilash to play in this situation. Also time. Ah, time. I, I did not even see the time. Oh my god. Nilash is having only 17 seconds on the clock guys and Aranek is having 51 seconds. So, okay, they are reducing but okay. Almost 30 second gap is there. Queen G5. You know, this knight is the savior, okay. If this knight is not there, then, <laughs> then knight on F6 uh, would have fallen in that, in that case. Yeah. Guys, do let us know if everything is perfect, like you can hear my voice and Nandini's voice perfect. I think today everything is going good. Queen b6, Queen b6 and what's there, bishop to c2. But the pawn on a4 is also going to fall I guess so, right? This pawn cannot be, oh he is saying like I'm not going to capture the pawn on a4, I want to just play on the king side. He goes for the g4 move. Maybe this knight is going for c4, he stops that thing, it's not exactly stop, but okay, he's preventing something, right? He has to give away the bishop or he's going to move the queen, what do you think? I think I... he will move the queen. Yeah, you have to keep the bishop, right? Yes, bishop and now there is a very strong threat is there, g5 followed by queen at 7 check and mid. And uh, Nilash is having very, very less time, like 5 seconds. Okay, it's Also, not f6 is really... attacked, Atul, right? Oh, okay. oh. Okay, he's he get he he's given up the piece once again. Oh, see, see he is rook down, completely rook down. I don't think so. He'll uh, play. Yeah, he resigned. He resigned in that game. So they will play the next game. So Arunak is already leading here. He just needs a draw to qualify for the semi-finals, and that is going to be crazy. Today our stream is just getting uh, like progressing. Right, the games are getting slow or what? Or we are getting uh, taking more time in the analysis. What is happening? No, I think, uh, you know, at the start, you're very energetic, right? We also have lost energy now and we have also become slow. <laughs> we are finding everything to be slow now. Ah, uh, okay. But I think like we are taking some time to talk with the players also and uh, understanding their views about the game. That is also important. Even yes. if it takes uh, some more time. Because the games are also taking some time. They are not just getting over in just five or six minutes. Even this is though, the last uh, match we have, that's going it, on right now. Right? Yeah, in the quarterfinals, this is the last one. Yeah. After that, there will be two semifinals, and uh, then there will be a final. <laughs> <laughs> have Red Bull, guys. More energy to you. Thank, thank you, Vivek. Definitely, uh, Red Bull. Uh, I'm going to have. It is our partner here <laughs> in this stream. Thanks now to we know the, huh? now we know the secret to Vivek's energy all the time. <laughs> I think Vivek also drinks red wool. <laughs> okay, but it is understandable uh, that we and I uh, guys, please let me know in the chat. Do you uh, enjoy the analysis which you do after the match gets over, or do you just want to see the next game, next game, next game? Do let me know in the chat. 
and 64 likes okay can we reach 100 likes in chat yes definitely we can reach and thanks for making it uh, to 64 likes it means a lot <laughs> okay must win situation for home Nandini pardon I didn't get you uh, who, who is on demand here like Nil N N Nilash yes Nilash Sa is the one who needs to win this game okay the, okay already okay I will say this thing that already black is having comfortable position according to Nandini because black is having two bishops on the board. Correct, correct. <laughs> nothing else matters. Two bishops is the Not, one which you matters. Yes, nothing else matters. <laughs> Forget about other evaluations on the board, but two bishops are there now. Okay, that side is good. Oh, Vivek uh, say, is saying like chase is the energy I live with. Wow, cool. <laughs> yeah ch ch true chess lover i must say and uh, we also live and breathe chess sometimes some different things also in life but okay chess is uh, integral part of our life and uh, okay they are exchanging the pieces why do you like this thing exchanging so uh, this many pieces i uh, love end games Atul. <laughs> oh you love end games okay but maybe yeah. maybe aranyak is going for the end game because he was just want to simplify the position and have yeah, you noticed he, one, needs, he needs only a draw right yeah and have you noticed that there is opposite color bishop on the board mm -hmm. so yeah. uh, it's a very high chance that when the opposite color bishops are there on the board then uh, okay uh, the possibility of drawing the game is quite high means i'm not saying like it is just a draw but the possibility is high that is considered by many people okay let's see what happens uh, on the board the position looks quite equal to me until now. There is no chance from any side, not even white or black, to create any counterplay in this situation. Do you think that white will go for e4 at any point or do you think that, okay, the pawn on e3 is good? What What's your uh, opinion? I, I think we'll go e4 only when required, right? You don't want to open up the dark squares for the black bishop. Mm -hmm. So probably when required. But I know black may try moves like knight c4 in the future. Wait, what just happened there? Ah, uh, I am not. Okay, he, ah. he is going for the, this thing. Okay, he wants to get uh, the two pawns and a rook for two pieces. That's a very interesting idea, no? Like uh, he will two be having no. two passed pawns and yeah. he is in must win situation. So this is a very good try. He found out a way to create some counterplay. Amazing, amazing. But uh, probably Aronyak did something wrong because there was White was not ha didn't have such sort of chance, right? Yeah. It was, it, it was very comfortable for Black. It seemed like it at least. Hmm. But now the game can be double-edged. Like anything can yeah. happen because these two pawns, Miss uh, Nilasa will definitely try to push these pawns as much as possible up the board. And if they reach to the fourth or fifth rank, okay, then the, it can be anybody's game. It can be White or Black. We cannot really say anything about that thing. Okay, he is trying to consolidate the pawns at least in the center of the board. The pawn on e3 and the pawn on d5. <laughs> they are like stuck there. Okay, Nandini, I have a question for you. What should be black strategy? Because he wants to hold on to the position. He doesn't want to do anything. So how will you like uh, plan in this position? I think maybe place your pieces on the best possible squares and try not to allow the pawn push okay to push 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 okay white did rook d3 probably to push a4 a5 try to push but i don't know okay means in that case i have one thing like maybe bishop a3 is a pos not there sorry uh, bishop to a3 is a possibility just trying to block it's this rook, pause rook a8 no ah okay rook a8 is there that's why he king f6 is nice king f6 is nice because the dark squares are weak ah, get your king okay, in the okay, center okay 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 he is saying nice. like uh, it's the end game and i need to bring my king into the center <laughs> yes Okay, we are getting oh, some words. you notice hmm? the d5 pawn has been weak, right? Now the rook is sitting to defend it. So that is good for black, right? Yeah, it's it's good for the black. Is there third and the fourth place match? Uh, uh, well, I think uh, Vivek needs to clarify this thing. I think it's not there. Third and fourth uh, match is uh, not there. Uh, let, let's see what Vivek says. Arbiter, please uh, tell Harshad what is the situation. I will also, I think Vivek must be listening to this. At last, players should be given chance to speak. Yeah, okay. At last, uh, players should be given the chance to speak. Definitely. And that's what we are trying to get the opinion of the players. 
okay king has uh, gone to the e4 square king to c3 and what what is happening check okay oh my god he won the game two on two <laughs> that was yeah. very quick finish okay we will get the players on uh, this thing this was a very quick match the quickest match until now yeah yeah uh, just one minute let me get this guys can you listen to me please let me know can you listen to Aronek and Nilas yes I can hear you okay yeah. okay cool cool and uh, okay uh, it was like a very smooth match for Aronek you won two on two uh, that was uh, congratulations first of all to you Aronek thank you yeah so Nilas a little bit difficult uh, what went wrong like what do you think in this uh, very quickly it ended and up the first game i didn't even thought of a queen g7 i, I thought there will be a kid perpetual so he will just avoid it okay i i'll, I'll just get to the first game uh, maybe you can follow your game on your own screen but uh, i will just open it on my screen for the viewers so that they will understand uh, what you are talking about okay in the first game what do you what are you saying just let me know at which point I, uh, when i played knight f6 uh, okay, bishop f4, uh, capture, capture, bishop f6. Uh, on which move number? Uh, 10th, 11th. 11th, okay. Yes, knight f6. Yeah, yeah, correct. We were actually surprised the, when you gave up the pawn on g7. Means we decided to give up the pawn. That was like instant decision for you or like it was some preparation? No, like I didn't even think about queen g7 first. Like ah. there, initially I thought there after queen f4 I might have knight h5. Okay, okay. Miss, there is queen f4 and queen h8 check, which I missed. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay. Miss, you thought about queen f4, knight h5, and then uh, okay, that I check was. Queen f4 is not working due to knight h5, queen e5, rook g5. The queen is getting trapped. So I thought uh, I only saw queen h4 for white, which leads to a draw with rook g4. Okay, Miss, you are talking about queen g7, rook g8, queen h6, right? Yeah, yeah. Queen h6, rook g6, queen f4, knight h5. And uh, Nilas was talking about queen e5 and then queen h8 check which he missed it. Yeah. And you are saying like instead of queen f4, queen h4 is the best that's one. The, no, that's what I saw at first. Ah, okay. okay queen I thought queen h4 is the only move here. Okay, queen h4 uh, trying to stop this knight on f6, not allowing it to move anywhere. Yeah, because yeah. if the knight moves, then uh, there will be queen exchanges. Yeah. Okay, so you wanted to exchange the queens just like that? It's because you are mm -hmm. pawn up. You are pawn up, so you want to exchange the queens. If the knight moves from in that position after queen h4 yeah i mean after queen h4 black at least has perpetual so i didn't even consider queen g7 at first ah okay 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 fine so that was like the first game and uh, what about the second game which uh, uh ended like this um like it was a must win so i just took on knight b7 Ah, okay, miss. Yeah, that was uh, like a must win situation. So you went for the all in, and it did not work out for you because yeah. uh, those two rooks were. Uh, you did not get to push your pawns. That was the main reason, I guess. So. Yeah, I mean, bishop e5, bishop d6 was a nice maneuver. But... Ah, okay. Arunak, what do you say about the last one? Like the this uh, after bishop b7. Sorry? Uh, what do you think about knight b7 sacrifice? You were surprised or okay, what? Okay, I didn't see actually knight b7. Uh -huh. But okay, like he has to sacrifice, right? Like he has to win. Mm -hmm. like, Correct. He has, has to create some imbalance in the position. But I think it's black holes on it. Like what he said, like bishop e5, bishop d6. I think after that, I think black yeah, Maybe on the 26th move, I could have played b3 instead of rook c2 and tried to break on the center with d6. Ah, okay, means B, B3 is something and then you are going for the D6 to open up the Yeah, rook. I played Rook C2 to control the C file first, but maybe B3 was the like only thing to keep the uh, imbalance going. Like mm. after uh, uh, what I played, uh, he got Bishop E5, Bishop D6, which just uh, is, uh, stabilizes the position for him. Correct, correct. Uh, this Bishop came in the uh, in the game and then everything was like sorted out. Yeah. And uh, but in, uh, after even after rook c2, uh, how about d6 on the next move instead of d3? Uh, b2 pawn was hanging, right? No, but d6. okay after knight d7 d6. Yeah, d6. Uh, it's a good point because if you capture, then the rook will be coming on d6, and then the knight on d7 will be yeah. under attack. Uh, yeah, Miss Arunak, what do you think after d6? What you would have gone for after knight d7 d6? 
ஒரு <laughs> 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 So very beautiful move knight c5 if you had played it in the game then that would have been a like a beautiful move <laughs> brilliant move okay cool then uh, arunnek there will be semi finals as i saw the message in just 10 minutes means so maybe 5 minutes so be ready there okay means uh, next game who is going to play i think the martinez will play now so maybe you will have some rest now okay and uh, nilash thanks for being there and uh, did you enjoy the tournament just uh, before you leave like how was uh, your experience did you uh, uh, like the format which we had this time not just one uh, one like tournament we had two formats here yeah i think uh, it just um, makes sure that the more consistent player gets the higher position like in a swiss format just uh, one bad game can ruin your tournament so it's a nice format yeah i mean here there is a fair chance like even like uh, in uh, yeah, yeah. swiss league uh, you mess up something but you manage to reach I mean, uh, uh. sometimes uh, there was a uh, once a time in title tuesday i used the same format right yeah yeah correct yeah it's a good format okay hope hope to see you in the next edition also thanks for Bye. being there in this edition and uh, like okay congratulations and okay see you then next time okay yeah all the best for that your tournaments okay so mandiri that's uh, for this thing mm. okay 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 fine fine so i'll just leave from here oh mandiri just one minute okay uh, yeah so mandiri you need to leave yeah i'll have to leave atul yeah yeah but uh, will you wait for uh, some time uh, at least till yeah. the same is uh, will start uh yeah till it starts i can wait i'll wait but before uh, it's not nice really win between so okay okay I will, okay I, i'll just I will check it out before the ba- before the games begin i will okay i'll wait. just check it out when the games are uh, there because there is some break is there okay oh, okay okay fine okay means 10 minutes break is there okay i'll just uh, message at the there is i think there is some some break is there Okay okay. Uh, Virup is asking he has only one question how did they calculate these variations so quickly? <laughs> It's all practice practice practice. Okay now the how next n- next game is uh Okay next game is going to start very soon so Okay fine. Okay 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 fine. Okay Vivek is messaging me let me check Harsha and Harshad. Okay cool. Harsha and Harshad are going to start. Fine. 
So Nandini, if you need to leave, you can uh, leave. And yeah, thank, I thank, don't thank want to leave you. in between. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can completely understand that thing. And thank you very much for being there yesterday also and today also. You were fantastic, and we, I really enjoyed. I hope that uh, the chat also enjoyed. <laughs> and uh, thank you, thank you very much. And we will definitely come and do something uh, together in the some. Uh, few more days <laughs> yeah 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 sure 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 yeah so, okay so yeah thank you so much atul yeah and uh, thank you so much guys i've been very positive today and uh, keep hitting the like button yeah keep do sharing hit. the video too that would be great <laughs> we have some very interesting games coming up i will yeah. not be there but you'll have another guest i guess so some surprise guest <laughs> yeah, so, yeah we will yeah. we will have Stay somebody tuned. for sure and uh, let's see what happens in the semi finals and it was exciting to have you here nandini all the games were quite interesting and uh, let's see what happens in the semis before you leave i just have one question now who do you support your la last four players are left you tell me i wouldn't say support or, i'm not okay, favorite. supporting <laughs> okay favorite um uh, i feel the favorite amongst all is still considering the games i've seen and the speed i've seen martinez i'm still going with him <laughs> okay you are still going with the martinez before you leave okay cool cool yeah <laughs> Okay. Thanks. Thank you very much, Nandini, for yes. being there. Okay. We will uh, start with the games. But see you yeah. soon. Okay. Yeah. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye. Take care. Okay. That that was uh, Nandini for us here. Okay. Okay, guys. So the games will start very soon. I'll just get the games, uh, the players, and uh, Harsha uh, skin. Okay. Harsha is ready and. Uh, Harsha again, he will be playing against uh, Harshad here. I'll just add him here and unpin this thing. Yeah, they are ready. The games will be starting very soon, guys. Let me get the games. Let me get the games. We'll be ready with the games. And let's see. Okay, I will add one poll also for you. Once the games will start, we will definitely get uh, them on the board. But before we go there, Let's have a poll. Yeah, Vasu. Can anybody send the Vasu the tournament link also? Okay. Let's have one poll. Okay, I'll just uh, who will win? Grandmaster Harsha or FM Harshad. Okay. Let's see. GM Harsha uh, FM Harsha Okay fine and I need to change on the string that it is semi-final man it is going to be epic now semi-finals are going to be there let me change it let me change it just a just a minute semi-finals okay all set for it cool so the games will start very soon guys very soon let's see what happens well, till that time i'll drink a little bit uh, of red bull okay we are getting some votes keep voting the thing and keep liking the stream guys the games will start in a while we are just waiting for some time maybe in one or two minutes it will start oh it's martinez versus uh, harshad oh really okay 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 okay, okay i need to <laughs> close the poll and i need to start a new thing sorry guys it is martinez who is going to play against uh... okay my bad martinez is ready or not add pin to martinez and harsha will not be there harsha will play after some time okay martinez i think he is getting ready or something just one minute i'm just checking it out I think yes. 
Martin is, is the one. Just to show you, I can even show you one uh, one thing. Wait, I'll show you one uh, pairing. Another prodigious talent. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'll just show you this uh, tree. Tree of uh, this thing, how the games are going to be played. There is a tree and uh, like how the matches will be played and everything. I'll just show it to you. Okay. And let me get it. Just one minute guys, I'm getting it. The tree for this one is going to be like this. Yeah. First will be there and second will be there. Okay. Let's reach uh, 100 likes today. Yeah, let's reach 100 likes today. If we can reach 100 likes, that will be great. Okay, Joe Martinez is getting ready. This is the side angle view of uh, Martinez, we will be having his uh, other view also. Okay, uh, replace pin and Harshad, we will get it add to the pin. Okay, we have Martinez as well as uh, Harshad now. They will start in a while now. They will definitely start in a while. Okay, fine. Everything is ready now. I guess the games will start. Martinez is ready. Yes, Martinez is ready. Better scotch and Abhirup, you are also there. Are you guys ready, guys? Semi finals now. Semi finals are going to start in a while. Let me click on the link also. Switch to this link. Who do you support guys? Let me create the poll. Okay, the games are started. Games are started. I need to create the poll. Muchos exitos. Jose. Oh my God. There is a uh, supporter for Martinez here. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. So the game has started with E4. Here uh, Martinez is playing with the white pieces and Harshad is uh, playing with the black pieces. Sicilian opening has been played on the board. This time uh, the time control is... Uh, different five minutes and two seconds really uh, i think for the same is uh, the time control was uh, three plus two only but uh, they have kept it uh, what the time control is changed or what okay let me see let me see for the finals we had a different time control but vivek is it correct it was uh, three plus two i guess so Oh. Semi-finals and quarter-finals, 3 plus 2 was there, but you started with 5 plus 2. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. We have started like that, so it's fine now. Was it correct? Five plus two. Okay. Yeah. Same is are going to be 5 plus 2 guys, okay, and uh, the games are going to be a little bit longer now. <laughs> Let's see what happens in this game. Let's focus on the game now. 3000 rating. Oh, somebody has written 3004. His rating is crazy. Of course, like his rating is crazy. But Harsha's rating, okay, it might look a little bit uh, low, but he is definitely a very strong player. In the previous round, I just want to tell you, he uh, won against... Uh, Pranav, whose rating was also almost 3000. So you can uh, see that. And he came back very strongly in the previous match after losing the first game. And uh, okay, we know that that is a fighting uh, thing. And one more thing I would like to say about this game is that uh, this opening, the Nadorf opening, this is my favorite opening which Black has played. So I will be rooting for Black because of the opening, nothing else. Okay, just because I love to play this opening from Black side. <laughs> this is the third tournament why it is mentioned as second well uh, 
uh, it is uh, second the, uh, the second tournament was there but it was not under uh, academy's name we changed the name because uh, we know that this tournament is going to come up so that's the reason nothing else okay so castling has been done over here and then uh, maybe this rook might be going somewhere now g4 has been played white is trying to push the pawn that's uh, something which we can see g5 will be there so he moves the knight away maybe the knight is going towards the e5 square guys yeah uh, now i am the only one who is going to be there uh, for the commentary <laughs> so you need to enjoy my commentary now okay uh, miss of course nandini was there and uh, i was enjoying with her but okay with me also you can enjoy a little bit after some time we will be having a guest who will be a surprise guest i will not tell about him right now but he will be coming in some time i'll see when he messages me or most probably he will be coming for the finals so let's see h4 okay white is saying like okay i'm going to play here on the king side and the b5 has been played rook might be coming to the c5 and the pressure on c2 will be mounting after some time but before we go towards that side b5 might be giving some chance to play knight c4 this is also a possibility which might be happening on the board so let's see what black is going to do this is always a very double edged position means white will be having lots of space advantage and black will be having some interesting stuff and uh, some ideas related to the king side attack miss queen side attack here so uh, this is like in sicily and nadorf it's always the side who creates the counter play first that side usually wins nicholas sir well uh, you will get to know <laughs> i mean you will get to know for the finals uh, our friend is going to come so we need to wait for a while for that thing till that time i'll drink a little bit uh, of red bull and i want to drink some water also <laughs> let's drink some water No, wait for what? <laughs> wait, what are you saying? Like, uh, wait for what exactly? I'm not understanding. Ah, wait for the guest. <laughs> I thought you are asking me to wait for drinking water. <laughs> yeah, the guest will come in some time. He has promised that he will come in the finals. So after the semi-finals, he will definitely be there. Okay, here knight uh, is going towards the king side. That's what I feel like. Knight might be going to f5 square, and the pawn on g7 uh, will be under attack. Okay and uh, the possibilities of g6 or okay not h6 but g6 is definitely one of the possibilities in this position because you will be sacrificing a pawn and then uh, you will try to open up the position so martinez is trying to open up the position on the king side and harshad on the other hand he is trying to do something here on the queen side so it will be uh, a battle between the attacks flank attacks i must say white attacking on the king side black attacking on the queen side and let's see who is going to trump first here okay as i said like i like playing with the black oh okay, he goes for g6 move he goes for g6 move that's a very standard move and uh okay suddenly i am feeling like okay i'm getting the moves by a grandmaster <laughs> okay guys i have uh kept one poll also i need to end that poll by the way and i need to create one new poll uh i'll just uh put who will win okay and uh, we will keep gm martinez or fm harshad let's see harshad it looks very focused here in this uh, position okay this on the screen you can see like he is very very focused and as well as martin is also very focused and uh, he has opened up the position by sacrificing a pawn and white might be rooting for uh, some uh, checkmating ideas on this side of the board 
that is something which can happen and the uh, king needs to run away that's the only thing which i feel but the way the position looks the knight might be going to f5 square stopping this uh, e7 pawn i mean e7 escape square it doesn't look that cool for black it doesn't really look that cool for black so fingers crossed how harshad is going to defend this position we will see we'll see the attack did not go through from black side white is already having quite good attacking possibilities and uh, martinez is thinking this position and uh, what is he thinking oh he played bishop to d3 okay fine what might be the idea of bishop d3 maybe he just want to support the pawn on c2 that might be one of the ideas maybe knight might be jumping to f5 square or he might just go for bishop into g6 in this situation and just open up the position so harshad needs to find out a way in order to neutralize the position by the way uh, the pawn with the bishop on f4 can it capture can he ca go for the bishop on f4 i really don't think so there will be some checkmate oh wow if knight f4 is there i just saw that this rook h8 king h8 and the queen will give some check and whatever you play in between queen will be going to h7 square king will uh, uh, miss check king uh, f8 and queen h8 will be a check and mate very soon yeah yeah wow oh he goes for knight into b2 he wants to do something on this side of the board he wants to open up the position knight b2 has been played he said like okay i'm not going to capture your uh, bishop i'm just going to capture the pawn on b2 okay bishop into g6 has been played on the board knight into d1 maybe the knight is going for the c3 square with a check let's see what he is going to do how he is going to checkmate black's king in this position this is a semi final or semi final uh, 2 this semi final 1 rakesh bhai the semi final 1 we are going a little bit slow the games are uh, being played with a slow pace and this is a checkmate this is a checkmate going to happen on the board and uh, martinez is going to win this first match first game of this semi finals after this there will be another game and uh, then there will be second semi final match between uh, Harsha Bharat Koti and uh, Arun Ghosh. So, Rakesh Bhai, you tell me whenever you want to join me. You are like, uh, I am alone here. So, you can always tell me that you can, you want to join. Okay. Okay, the first game is over. <laughs> first game is over. Okay, the game will start. The second game has started. Okay, e4, c5, knight of 3, d6. Okay, guys, sorry for that thing. I missed uh, this thing. Uh, h3. Again, the same opening, but with the different pieces. Okay, different colors, I mean to say. This time, uh, Martinez has played the... Sicilian Nador from black side earlier Harshad was the one who played it from that side but okay what is going to happen he I, I like this thing okay I like this thing uh, by top players okay uh, that they are good in particular opening not only from white but also from black side they practice it they play it from both colors and uh, the, miss I have learned about Sicilian Nador from uh, Vishwanathan Anand who plays that opening from black as well as white side so of course martinez is also a very strong player and uh, he adopts the same thing that in order to understand the opening uh, even if it's your mainstream opening from black side you play it from the white side to understand the different plans and uh, he is going for that thing here in this situation okay g4 has been played here the uh, harshad needs to win this game on demand and uh, we know this thing in uh, in the previous match which he played against prano he was like in this same position and uh, he managed to win the uh, game against uh, Pranav. So let's see whether he can uh, do the same thing in this case also or not. 
सर डू यू नो एनी चेस अकेडमी हु टीचेस टू थाउजेंड प्लस फिडे प्लेयर्स वेल अभिरूप यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट देर आर मेनी स्ट्रॉन्ग कोचेस इन इंडिया यू जस्ट अप्रोच देम एंड दैट विल बी गुड इफ यू आर टू थाउजेंड प्लस प्लेयर देन मीन्स इफ यू आर फिडे रेटिंग इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट देन इट्स बेटर टू टेक इंडिविजुअल कोचिंग फ्रॉम गुड कोच सो यू अप्रोच डिफरेंट कोचेस एंड जस्ट सी वॉट हैपन्स both are playing your favorite opening yeah both are playing my favorite opening <laughs> and bishop has come on the h4 square and the king f1 okay this uh, king doesn't look that cool in this position to me and uh, there might be some attack on the king on f1 but how white is going to bring his pieces towards this king that is something we need to see and uh, well here after we need to develop this bishop also that is the first thing which comes to my mind a5 has been played in order to play a4 or maybe this knight this bishop might be coming on this uh, diagonal this two three plans are there from the black side queen might be coming to b6 square so plenty of options are there a4 is there bishop a6 is there queen b6 is there or any uh, normal move like casting can also be played on the next move okay uh, okay bishop 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 crazy oh he goes for king g1 oh why is he playing king g1 maybe he wants to play king h2 in this position and save guard is king that might be one of the ideas apart from that uh, i don't i don't really think so like there is any other option there is any option what is happening after queen b6 check this is the first check which comes to the mind queen b6 check and hmm seems different to me guys do like the stream can we reach 100 likes today can we reach 100 likes today uh, whoever is watching semi finals are going on between jos martinez who is uh, a grand master from peru and he is playing against harsha des a fide master from india h5 has been played here white is uh, okay black wants to open up the h5 that might be the one of the ideas in this situation nothing really nothing else matters in this situation and uh, once it will be opened up okay he captures on gh5 captures on gh5 okay knight of 6 has been played on the board and then uh, maybe what is this knight going to do in this situation maybe it is attacking the pawn on d5 square maybe the bishop is also attacking the pawn on d5 what else might be the option maybe knight h5 okay this is something which i feel like knight h5 okay first of all the pawn on e5 has been captured this will be captured and then maybe knight oh he goes for knight h5 earlier only i was thinking that he might be capturing pawn on e5 first and then he will go for knight h5 but uh, he says like okay i don't want to capture the pawn on e5 i just going to want to go there and this uh, knight can go to g3 square bishop can also go to g3 square and uh, let's see what happens after all those things let's see what happens yes i uh, vivek abhirup there are many you need to choose wisely yeah definitely yes i am searching uh, in google but private coaching is uh, pretty expensive so i am preferring uh, academy well for the 2000 plus rated player academy will not be that cool option that's what i will say ha huh. okay shridam is saying hello yes shridam hello good to have you here and bishop g3 king g1 and what is going to happen queen b6 check is a very strong move but okay then we have queen to d4 or maybe knight d4 there are two options which are there from the white side
by the way just say this thing that uh, <coughs> martinez just needs a draw in order to qualify for the finals and it feels in this situation that he is going to qualify for the finals because of the position Bishop of two has been played, and then uh, King might be going to any situation. And uh, King F one, yes, sir. Then you teach me class at low cost and make me a GM. <laughs> I will pay you a million dollar after becoming a grandmaster. Yeah, sure. Okay, this game is getting uh, to the finale. Queen H four has been played on the board. Check is there. King will be going. Where Where do you think the king will go? King F one means we can always capture on G two and play Queen G three also. It uh, it will not be that easy let's let's figure it out what are the things which uh, might be happening in the situation queen h4 mm. okay queen h4 check okay he's thinking because both are having one minute and uh, 30 seconds so a lot of time is there but harsha doesn't really look that cool in this situation We see, we see. Guys, if you are new to the stream, then do like the stream. Let's hit uh, 100 likes here, okay? And uh, then we will see. Okay, I was disconnected, it says. Let me, let me refresh the page. Let me refresh the page. How can I be disconnected? Okay, I'm not disconnected, by the way. I'm still there. King G1, Bishop into G2 has been played on the board. Maybe he's going for, like, just going to for the exchanges. Queen G3 is a check which might be happening on the board. And, uh, okay. Bishop into G2. Some people are there in the chat also. They are messaging there. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. This this is uh, getting over. So very soon we will be having our first finalist. That will be Jos Martinez from Peru. Thank you very much for uh, guys for being there and liking the stream. Oh my goodness, Queen has uh, captured the pawn on uh, d6. I think there is one uh, last hope is there that the Queen d7, Queen d f7. Queen f7 is the checkmate which is the last hope. I feel like that but uh, that will not happen on the board. Black will definitely get to checkmate White's King. Queen g, Queen e1 check. Okay, King h2. What is the idea after this? Ah, okay, queen g2 check. Okay, fine. And what's there? What's there going to happen? I think it is just a checkmate because if the king goes behind, then rook d1 is the check and mate in all, which is happening on the board. Okay, that's a check and mate which happened on the board. Very soon the game got over. 2-0 uh, two nil win for uh, him. So I'll just get this thing. Uh, and uh, guys, if you can hear me, Martinez uh, and Harsha, can you please unmute? It was a very quick game, I must say, and uh, uh, one thing I want to say that you played the same opening from both the colors, means, means Sicily and Nadov. <laughs> uh, can you hear me, by the way? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, as I said, like, uh, Sicily and Nadov was played from both colors, means... Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. He repeat H3 in the sixth move. Yeah, sixth move H3 was uh, interesting. And I love to play Sicily and Nadar from uh, black side. Not from white side, but from black side. So I enjoyed both the games. Especially in this last game, it was after H3, E5, uh, F4. Okay. Uh, okay, it is like good move only. But G4, I thought like it's uh, opening up. Why did you go for G4 so early, Harsha? Was it your preparation or uh, you played it just because you were in a must-win situation? I 
think I should have read G four first, then F four. Ah, okay. Okay. What do you think, Martinez? Like uh, in that situation? I I think G four uh, is um, provoke uh, Bishop H four now, and then he will not castle. Uh -huh. Against bishop b6 is, is good, but against bishop b7, what I played, I don't know actually. Okay, okay, okay. But I, I, I feel like g4 is like provoking, of course, like what it was. Uh, yeah, he's g4 just... is a typical idea. Yeah. It's a typical idea, but I don't know if it's good in that position. Mm -hmm. Maybe he should have waited for some time and then he should have gone for anything. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, it was cool. Like, uh, in the first game also it was uh, uh, interesting he try, uh, you played that g6 idea that was very cool like after that so many mating uh, ideas came i'll just show that position to the viewers and then uh, we will uh, uh, like go to the next semi final okay is that fine yeah yeah just one minute i'll just uh, get that game uh, to the g6 position uh, that was a very thematic move which you played uh, the 21st move g6 after that do you think that uh, it was it any chance for black to defend uh, I, I, actually after f6 bishop uh -huh. g5 check f6 i didn't uh, realize he can move his king d8 c8 b7 then i was thinking again and then i find knight e6 queen g8 queen e6 ah, okay, uh, okay 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 the, <laughs> i was thinking to play some end game with two pieces against rook but then i uh, find the uh, checkmating yeah made me checkmate you saw okay cool thank you very much for being there we will move to the next semi-final now and yeah. all the best for the finals uh Martir. and thank you uh harshad for playing here uh, i hope you enjoyed okay see you all the best yeah so guys we will be moving towards the next round now harsha bharat koti will be playing Okay, Harsha screen I have got and he will be playing against Aron Nyok. I'll get his uh, thing also, his camera also. And let me get the games. Yeah, both players are ready now. Let's let's start the games very soon. Let's start the games very soon. Ready. Okay, we are waiting maybe in just one minute or two the games will start and then we will have everything. Oh, why this? Okay, that we want to follow Harsha's game. So we need to wait Harsha's game to start. <laughs> I think Pranav is the one who is uh, playing right now. So that is something which already mentioned that not to play but pranav is playing okay we'll wait we'll wait the games have started or not okay this is going to be the second semi-final between harsha bharat koti and aranya ghosh we will wait for a while and uh, two games to start and then okay mean, mean meantime i'll create one poll for you so that you can uh, just predict who is going to be the winner. Okay, let, let me, let me. Okay, cool. We have this uh, game over here. Okay, Harsha's game has already started. Thank you Vivek uh, for sending me the link and the game is there. I started uh, here Aronik is playing with the white pieces and uh, Harsha is playing with the black pieces okay this is English opening c4 has been played on the board I hope that you can see the chess board oh, yeah everything is cool okay cool chalo Kaselai Thach Deepak is uh, talking about something I really don't understand <laughs> Okay, g3 has been played on the board. Maybe he wants to go for bishop g2 on the next move and castle. That might be one of the ideas. Knight f6, okay. Harsha is saying like knight f6. I have seen uh, one or two uh, games, you can say, where 
ब्लैक हैज एक्चुअली गॉन फॉर द आइडियाज लाइक एच फाइव एच फोर सो इफ हर्षा गोज फॉर दिस काइंड ऑफ आइडियाज आई विल नॉट बी सरप्राइज लेट्स सी वॉट ही इज वे टू प्ले बिकॉज अगेंस्ट नुबेर ही प्लेड एच फाइव मूव वेन द जी फोर वॉज प्लेड ऑन द बोर्ड एंड आई थिंक दिस टाइम ऑल्सो इट माइट बी हैपनिंग लेट्स हैव अ पोल हियर लेट्स हैव अ पोल हु विल विन हु विल विन हर्षा कैंड मास्टर हर्षा और आई एम अरण्यक ओके गुड डे फोर हैज बीन प्लेट ओके दिस वॉज समथिंग अनएक्सपेक्टेड आई वॉज नॉट इवन एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट ही विल ट्राई टू ओपन अप द पोजिशन I was thinking that he might go for bishop g2 move, but he says like I want to open up this bishop first. Means this bishop will be coming in the game via bishop g5 maybe. That might be one of the ideas. And if uh, this is captured, the knight will be sitting in the center of the board. That is there, and this bishop's diagonal is also covered. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see what happens. He is going to capture there, or I have a very interesting idea. Why not play queen d3 here? If you play queen, D, oh, he goes for knight d4. But I was thinking like maybe, maybe knight d queen d3 is also a possibility, which might be happening. So knight into d4, bishop into d4 might uh, not be played. I I will not give up my bishop on c5 at any cost. I'll just keep it on the board. Maybe I'll go for castle. Let's see what Harsha. The the possibility which I I was talking about h5 and this kind of ideas are ruled out now because uh, the center is opened up. as they say like whenever you want to attack uh, means the flank attack if you want to go for that thing you should uh, keep the center closed as in this position the center is uh, kind of opened uh, the flank attack will not just work out in this situation okay uh, there there are certain moves which are being played or what let me refresh the page let me refresh the page okay there are certain moves which were oh why man okay wait Oh, Pranav's game. I am seeing here. Vivek, can you please send me the game link because uh, Pranav is playing and uh, I'm not able to follow that game which was there already. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I, okay. Where is Harsha's game? Vivek, can you please send me the link of that particular Harsha's game, Harsha Bharat Koti's game? Because here, I'm trying, but okay, okay, you have sent me. Switch. Uh, it is again showing me follow harsha bharat koti okay wait 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 follow slash harsha bharat koti why i am not able to follow harsha bharat koti put in live chess okay i'll go to live chess and i will put harsha okay fine fine i got it i got it i got it thank you very much vivek thank you very much finally i got it <laughs> yeah i i i got it thank you very much amay also Pranav started playing. No, we already mentioned that thing not to play because like I am following everyone, <laughs> so it's happening like this. Is my stream uh, good on the stream? Also, you can see or uh, no? Okay, it is disturbed on the screen. I need to make it proper. Sorry, guys. Sorry. okay now it is fine now it is fine on the screen also it's fine okay some uh, 
mess up with the OBS settings, but everything is cool now. Add this board, yes, yes, I have adjusted the board. Okay, some things happened while we were doing uh, other things. Uh, let's go to the game. Knight d4, c6 was played and the knight from the center of the board was kicked away. And okay, they exchanged some of the pieces there in the center of the board. Knight c6, okay. Black is saying like, I don't want this knight in the center of the board. It uh, needs to be exchanged. Maybe uh, e3 is a good move. Just try to consolidate the knight in the center. If you capture, I'll capture. Or do you think that he will go for knight c6? Okay, he goes for knight c6, queen c2. The pawn on c6 is under attack now. Uh, and uh, maybe on the next move, castling is a good idea. Castling and then bishop f4, rook c1. These are the good ideas which I can feel. Black is of course, like black is also having some pressure on the f2 pawn. Only thing is that the pawn on c6 should be pro protected properly. So he goes for the castle. This is what we were expecting. And black will also go for castling. Uh, and the pawn on c6 can always be defended with bishop d7 or there is also one possibility which i can see now is bishop a6 trying to put some pressure on this diagonal okay he goes for bishop f4 we were already talking about this moves he is playing exactly the what i was talking about because these are general ideas in this situation which uh, is happening bishop f4 rook c1 attack on the c6 pawn and then okay i'll uh, have some energy now by drinking some red bull Bishop a6, exactly. Okay, I, I somehow feel like I'm understanding what all, both the players are going to play. <laughs> h4, rook to e8. The pawn on e2 is under attack, so it should be protected. He protects with rook to e1. And now this rook will go to c1, which is a very obvious square for the rook. And then the pawn on c6 will be under attack. Okay, cool. H6, h6. E4. Oh, he wants to open up the position. He said like my bishop should be opened up because if you capture on E4, the bishop will capture here and the pawn on C6 will be under attack. Let's see whether he captures here or he is he going to play D4 move. But playing D4, still the pawn will go to E5 square and this bishop will be opened up in that case also. So it's a tricky decision for black. Oh, he, he said like, okay, I'm not going to capture anything. I'm just going to maintain the pawn on D5 square. But because if you capture, then cd5 will be played and this bishop will be protecting the pawn on d5. This bishop will still be attacking on d5, but it is not okay. He says like, I'm going to push the pawn. Queen needs to be moving from this position. Queen will go somewhere and then what's happening? Queen, 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 queen e6, okay. This bishop is not having that, oh, wow interesting idea bishop f1 this was completely unexpected move bishop f1 i was not even uh, thinking will be played at. but why why is why is it going for this thing he wants to exchange the bishops okay he is saying like i'm not going to exchange i'm just going to put bishop on the board queen d2 is the natural move which i feel might be played and then some pressure on this uh, diagonal what do you think guys uh, who do you support here harsha or uh, aranyak here lots of supporters are there for Harsha Bharat Koti who is playing with the white pieces. By the way, they, they are playing their first game. The second game is also there. They will be playing with both the colors, white as well as black. So, but you can see one thing like Aranyak is having one minute and Harsha is having almost 25 seconds on the board. There will be increment. Of course, two second increment is there. So no worry about the flag down or something like that. But time is time, right? means you should not be lagging on time too much so black needs to play quickly in uh, order not to get into uh, complete time pressure because in time pressure we have seen anything can happen anybody can make a mistake so you have to manage your time properly so rook b8 okay rook to the b8 queen c2 and now what black seems to be quite comfortable to me because these two pawns are so much dangerous in this situation rook will be going to the c8 square queen a4 d3 okay d3 what's happening this bishop is attacking on the pawn on f2 and uh, if this pawn moves forward then only something will be happening so interesting stuff just uh, whoever wins this game will be going into the final okay guys uh, so we have to be ready for that thing also and one more thing I need to confirm with uh, uh, this thing.
I think a third and the fourth place should also be decided. Uh, that also we need to figure it out. At I think full support to Aranyak. Oh wow. Queen d5. Okay, black is very comfortable. I think Harsha is just going to close through this uh, game no matter what because these pawns are also going to go forward and one of the pawn will be queening in this situation. And he said like I want to checkmate. I just want to go for the checkmate. Nothing else in this situation. Queen a4, d2 has been played. This is what we were expecting. Now this pawn will also go forward. c2 will come. Oh, wow. Why is he playing this one? Bishop c3. Okay, this game is going to get over very soon queen d5 has been played and uh, if the queens are exchanged then of course like there is no chance the pawn is just frustrating for harsha is going to win okay First game is over guys, Harsha has won the game. Okay, there will be, okay, the second game has started here. Arunak is will be going to play with the black pieces. Harsha has started with e4, cool. C5, Sicilian opening, the opening which you need to play, he will be back in the next game. Okay, cool, he will be back in the next game. <laughs> Knight of 3. Bishop D3 has been played, D6 and then what is going to happen? Shifty three. Why is he playing like that? Okay, guys. I just want to confirm you this thing that uh, final matches and uh, third and fourth matches will be played. Uh, yeah, will be played at the same time. But we will be focusing on the finals more. But uh, definitely, <laughs> we will have some. Uh, views about uh, this thing also the third and the fourth place also we will be covering we will be covering that thing also so let's see what is going to happen who is going to be the finalist as far as now here Aranyak is in must win situation he must win this game in order to uh, be there in the contention because if he wins this game then the game will be gone will be going into the tie breaks where Armageddon will be played and you know Armageddon white needs to win at any cost Black just needs to draw the game. So, will Armageddon happen or not? That's what we are going to see in this thing. A3. Okay. B Rook to B1. Okay. He wants to go B4. Okay. That's cool. B4 is the main thing. Which is there. And one more thing is also there. Which I feel like he might have played Rook to B1. Because this Knight. Which is there on this uh, board. It might be jumping here. So, in that case also. The Rook should not be under this uh, Bishop's attack. That might also be one of the possibilities. Why he played this thing so guys if anybody new here do like the stream let's make it 100 likes okay and that will be very uh, cool thing for us so keep liking the stream and help us to reach more and more people okay and uh, do participate in the vote okay so here he has gone for the b4 move harsha is saying like i'm no i want to open up the position on the queen side as in the center right now there cannot be anything happening on the board so knight might be jumping towards this thing, knight d5 in some time, I feel like that, I don't know. Maybe bishop c5, knight d5, knight b will go, go to the b6 square, the, pawn, the rook on a8 as well as the bishop on c8 will be under attack. That might be one of the possibilities. 
and apart from that what is there okay he plays a4 in order to stop b5 and once the b5 stopped uh, the rook will be doing good job on the b5 the pawn on b7 will be under attack and uh, black needs to be careful because he cannot move this bishop because this rook is attacking on b7 pawn in order to uh, do something he needs to play b6 this kind of a move when he will play b6 the bishop's duty will be over but then the queen on d8 will be the one who needs to support everything okay he plays knight g4 maybe he wants to play knight e5 action some pieces over here and uh, simplify the position because black is not having that cool position i must say like black needs to simplify the position in order to get some play okay from white side i say like this bishop is the problematic bishop it is not having any good square so i will not be surprised if this bishop goes to this diagonal that a to 2 g at diagonal if he goes okay he goes for knight d5 as this knight was controlling the d5 square white says like harsha says like i'm going to <laughs> take the control of the d5 square and then i'll see what to do this knight as i said earlier also knight might be going to b6 square so make sure that you need to stop all the jumping spots for the knight if knight is getting all the jumping spots then you might end in a little bit trouble okay rook b8 with the idea of of course like something like maybe b5 in future but right now b5 square is quite well protected the bishop is also there the rook is also there so everything is protected on the b5 square right what's what's your prediction guys do let me know in the chat also who do you support here uh, harsha or aranyak do let me know in the chat i know that poll is there but uh, apart from the poll if you tell me in the chat that will also be great okay and uh, you can communicate with me i will be taking your questions also if you have any questions or some views about the game feel free to message me here in the chat and i will definitely try to answer you okay the bishops are exchanged here okay one step is uh, done okay whenever you play h3 one move is quite obvious that knight might be going to the e5 square i think harsha has got this yeah rakesh bhai is saying like harsha has got this thing definitely it feels like that only because uh, he will not mess up this thing he will uh, at least draw this game because knight on d5 is a very beautifully placed knight okay <laughs> that movement i said like and he moves the knight okay but still knight is very well placed that's the one thing knight g4 okay he was going for the e5 square he goes for there and the bishop on d3 is he going to move it somewhere it can move to f1 square only that's the only square which i feel like might be going here learn chess learn life kya baat hai hatto hello 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 good to have you here i don't know what's your name but uh, that's true like learn chess learn life and maybe learn life and then learn chess that is also something which you can do <laughs> queen d6 queen d6 is there okay if you want to go into the end game then the idea of knight captures on e6 can also be very interesting but in that case black might take one uh, very crazy decision of capturing with the f1 and putting some pressure on the f5 so right now he goes for this thing and as i said like this might be very interesting i don't know whether he will go for this thing or not but this looks interesting to capture oh he did not capture it he says like i want to play simple chess no matter what rook d8 the pawn on d2 is under attack now mm, maybe he will play rook d7 followed by rook d8 bondita bhagwati hello hello good to have you here d3 has been played on the board now what's going to happen after d3 maybe f4 this might be one of the ideas on the board because uh, still knight c4 is a good option because the rook is pinning the pawn on d3 square okay yeah. harsha will aranyak is playing well but harsha is stronger player or oh, subrata is uh, saying this thing okay uh, yeah of course like both players are pretty strong aranyak as well as harsha but uh, harsha has already won the first game so even if the, he draws this game uh, then also i think like it's completely fine for uh, harsha so he is playing very safe chess he doesn't want to mess up the position if he just keeps on going then uh, it should be fine for him so black needs to create some chances the thing is that black uh, what happened what just happened f4 oh my goodness if he moves the knight then the e5 pawn is going to have come on the board and there will be a four. Oh my god so here white is going to win the win the piece or what Okay, he has one move. Queen h4 is one of the moves. Queen h4, but still we will play h3. h3 and the piece on uh, g4 as well as the piece on d6. Both will be under attack. Oh my god. So Harsha has already winning one piece here. And he has sealed his position to go into the finals, guys. What a great thing. Wow. Wow. Miss piece of position, I, 
okay uh, he is a grandmaster he will definitely not mess up the piece of position at any cost and black especially okay even if you are pissed down if you have lots of attack on the bo on the board then you can say like okay you can do something but here you really don't have any kind of uh, possibilities oh himanshu is there kya baat hai himanshu is there king h1 and rook d4 oh nice okay you can capture it here but there is only one check there is only one check apart from that i don't think so there is uh, anything else in this situation but okay black is trying to create some chances that's for sure black is not going without the bullet you can say he is definitely going to fight hard in this situation because he must win aranyak must win in this position he cannot settle for a draw he captures this thing now the f4 pawn is falling okay cool black has some counter play for sure something is there and okay one move which comes to mind queen e3 yes exactly that's the move which i was uh, i was thinking to in order to just try to exchange the pieces queen h3 might also be played on the board or maybe king g1 yeah king g1 just like that because queen f2 will not be coming there there is no check on the board end game is better for white i uh, will white is piece up in this position uh, chavra ji and uh, i think uh, that oh <laughs> he missed this thing he missed this rook was hanging okay this is over man he is two pieces down and it's going to be over so the next match will be a combined match between uh, the finals will be there i will be taking at least 2 3 minutes break so here harsha has advanced to the finals i'll just have uh, a quick chat with them and then we will go to the finals just quick chat and then we'll go okay just one minute uh, hello harsha congratulations you are in the finals now <laughs> thank you yeah aranyak uh, hard luck uh, it was uh, not that cool the second game was not that cool yes it did not work out i guess so right uh, are you able to hear me yes yes yeah okay hard luck i said like uh, it was uh, kind of difficult i think it's the second game because you wanted to win so you tried something to oh, no like i huh. just blundered kept on blundering yeah in the end it was uh, blundering but before that uh, maybe you tried something to get your pieces <laughs> but harsha played very solid chess he did not give any chance i i feel like that maybe you have different views but he played very very solid <laughs> yeah so okay so we will meet in the finals in some time so you take some break 5 minutes break i will also have a slight break i'll go to the washroom and i'll come back okay yeah, thank you so thank you and arunak thank you very much for being there and there will be a match for the third and fourth place so don't go anywhere we will have some 5 minutes break and then we will start vivek will please, uh, please make me host yeah yeah uh, i will make you the host um make host okay yeah wake uh, you are the host now can you hear me yes yes is done done uh, should i come in 2 3 minutes i want to go to wash sure 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 okay, sure, I'll, sure sure i'll take some break yeah yeah guys i'll be back in a while all the four players please start the cameras हेलो
yes guys i'm back okay let me check am i here are you there guys with me uh, now uh, we will be having a guest very soon okay Hi, hi, Abdul. Oh, you are there. <laughs> Kya baat hai? Uh, yeah, I'm already here. Okay, okay. Uh, Akash, bro, he salu karta ka? Oh, camera. Ah, uh, cool. Ma, tumar screen aur yun tail. Ah, ek minute ah. Me okay. camera salu karto. Tumala screen share karu kami? This is ka karay garaz nahi. Nahi ka garaz na. Acha, ma jo me arrows hogar ekili lapan this tail ka kadi? Ha, but ma jo thiye. ठीक है ठीक है ठीक है मी एकदा फक्त ह्याच्यावरती ऍड करतो स्काईप मध्ये या यू आर देअर सो गाईज वी हॅव अवर फ्रेंड अँड अवर एव्हरीबडी नोज हिम ॲज राकेश भाई सो थँक्यू व्हेरी मच राकेश भाई फॉर बिईंग हिअर ऑन द स्ट्रीम आय होप एव्हरीबडी कॅन लिसन टू कॅन यू से जस्ट हाय हॅलो 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 गाईज येस 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 सो राकेश भाई लाईक फायनल्स विल बी प्लेड इन जस्ट सम टाईम मे बी प्लेयर्स आर हॅविंग सो आय विल जस्ट गेट द प्लेयर्स ऑल्सो आय विल जस्ट पिन दे अँड देन वी विल कंटिन्यू विथ अदर अदर्स ऑल्सो सो हिअर इन द फायनल्स वी हॅव मार्टिनेस and uh, harsha bharat koti so they will yep. be the ones who will be uh, playing so i'll just uh, okay let's start yeah. the game yeah yeah just Wait, one minute i i just need to get some uh, pin why i'm not a, okay uh i need You're to not the host yeah i'm not the host uh i need to ask vivek <laughs> i need to ask vivek just one minute Hello, 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 chat. Hello, hello, Ammai. Nice to see you. Let us know who are you supporting. What are you feeling? Will it be Harsha or will it be Jose? Jose Martinez. <laughs> An interesting matchup here. And let's see both of them. Very, very strong players. Who will be the champion of the second ICA tournament sponsored by Red Bull. Here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, the, it is a great thing for us, like Red Bull is sponsoring the event. Uh, yeah. And uh, thanks to you also, you are providing this platform for us and... Uh, <laughs> Me too. Yeah. And uh, that's why the games are also happening here. I think Harsha has uh, not yet joined or something. That's why I'm not able to pin him. Okay. Yeah. we'll wait we'll wait on on all the screen i think uh, martin is the one who we we have the third and fourth game will also be playing okay and okay. let me get the players uh, yeah we have both the players now harsha and martin as we have both the players i will just change it to semi finals and that's it we will mostly be focused on finals the third and fourth match will also be being played but uh, yep. we will we will uh, just uh, mostly talk about this game okay so i think vivek will start the games we just need to wait and uh, i need to get the okay. link <laughs> yeah we can just follow them yeah good luck to both the players and let's see i'm excited for a fun final yeah i i like i i hope that they are not tired <laughs> at least i am not tired yeah, it has been it has been a long day you are right you are right yeah and uh, for uh, martinez yeah, is we... it is it morning time for martinez You. Yeah, yeah, I think it's like early morning, 9 a.m. ish for him. So okay, he must be the fresh, uh, like most fresh person. But okay, nowadays yeah, we... he has been playing for from 7 a.m. So yeah, maybe he is a night person, so he must not have slept at all. We we will ask the players. Yeah, yeah. We, we will ask. And uh, Harsha, I think he is taking a break because we cannot see him on the screen. So I think he ah, okay, he yeah. is taking some. I I I think five minutes break is there. between the ground so it will come back 
Yeah, we can at least like start the third, fourth match, so at least we can have a look at their match. Mm -hmm. And the start. Third and fourth match, it has already started. You are saying? No, no. So at least we can start the third versus fourth match if Harsha is not around. Yeah, yeah. Miss so. Vivek, please do that thing if uh, it's not there. And I will try to get. Uh, I will try to follow also. Let's see. With this time, uh, I am going to get the games. Oh, logging detected. Uh, no, no, no. I think you need to send me the link or something whenever the game starts. Right now, uh, it doesn't. Really. Players not, not in. Okay. Uh, Rakesh Bob, just one minute. Huh? I'm talking. Uh, the players are not ready. Vivek is saying so. Okay, no yeah, problem. So we need to wait for a while. They have gone. I I think that maybe they thought like third and fourth match will not be there. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, so I will just say this thing that uh, if uh, Harsha and uh, Martin is there, let's uh, start the finals. Huh? If they are around. Okay, it will take some time. Sorry, Rakesh Bob. <laughs> okay. Okay, Harsha is back. Harsha is back. The games will start, I think so. It will yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's, let's follow that game. Yeah, let's follow that game. It will... Uh, uh, Rakesh Bob, can you send me the link also to follow? Because every time uh, Vivek sends me, but I will wait. Yeah. yeah. I'm just waiting for the game to start. Hmm. I don't think the game has started. Okay, okay. I think it will start in one minute or some, something like that. Once it starts, it will be good. Yeah, otherwise, yeah, you can just type slash follow Jospem in the chess.com chat. Okay, in and live. Also send it, yeah, send it to you on WhatsApp and. Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll do that. Okay, here uh, Vivek has sent me. Cool. So okay, again, I think a best yeah. of two match this yeah. important final. Yeah. And Atul, can you tell us huh? uh, what are the players playing for? I mean, they are so involved for a reason. So what is that? Yeah, miss the first prize is the most lucrative thing I think they are playing for because the first prize is twenty five thousand rupees. And uh, yeah. okay, we have play, like kept the second prize also quite decent. It is fifteen thousand rupees. So here, of course, they are playing for the prize, and uh, to be the champion, everybody wants to win the tournament, right? Yeah, of course, yeah, uh, yeah. being the champion, and yeah. plus even like twenty five thousand for around you know two days of not even two full days. You just like today, four today, hours. yeah, today three and a half hours. You can say three and a half or four hours. And yesterday they played yeah, only yeah. for one and a half hour. Yeah. So, even well deserved, but yeah, of course, the players are looking for it from the comfort of their homes can win some decent prize money here. Yeah, and both of these grandmasters, Atul, did you expect the all grandmaster finals? Uh, well, I to be honest, I I was like feeling like Nubair might be there in the final. <laughs> so I thought so, Pranav VIP. Yeah, Pranav V was also there in the contention. Pranav Venkat is a very very strong player, upcoming but, uh, player, and recently became IM. So I thought he will be there in the finals. Yeah, and okay, his match he was winning, but uh, somehow he messed up with one uh, big blunder, and after that, okay, it was not yeah. uh, going back for him. Harshad played very well in the tie breaks also in Armageddon, and he won the match. And okay, Martinez, what to say about him? He is rock solid. He just keeps on winning. <laughs> and he's super strong. In fact, even that was the reason why Nubair Bhai signed Martinez for Mumbai, uh, for that India Yogis actually in the Pro Chess League this year. So, oh. and he was 
he proved to be pretty successful because uh, Josh Spam, as his username is on Chess.com, is a very very uh, seasoned campaigner. So oh, <laughs> he plays. He he like almost I think every day he plays at least twenty games. Wow, at least. Wow, cool. Yeah, so and those games must be uh, like quality games because his rating I can say it is more than three thousand, which is not so easy. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know, so he he tries to go up to three thousand, three thousand one hundred. Then he plays with Hikaru. Ah. Then his rating drops a little. So that is <laughs> what his cycle is. Hikaru yeah. sends everybody down, right? Yeah, yeah. And he when he plays, he tries to win, and he's brutal mm -hmm. in that way. Okay, I have one question. Uh, like uh, from India, do you think that who is going to beat Hikaru uh, of the tournament? But still, like one question. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's a very nice question actually. I think Nihal Sarin would be my bet okay. for that. Okay. Okay. So coming back to this game, uh, here, what do you think about the game? Like, let's have your insights because you are you is yourself is a very strong international master. So what do you think about the position? Let's uh, understand that thing for the viewers also. Yeah. 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 Uh, th thanks for that, Abdul. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think this is like a typical Royal Lopez, like not the usual one, but a sideline of the Royal Lopez. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you see already, like after at around uh, 16 moves I think are gone. Move uh, six. Okay. Uh, Martinez played D3, which is known as the anti martial opening. Okay. He's Here, D3 move you are talking about. D3. Okay. Yeah, move six. Uh -huh. And then uh, it, it just, otherwise, C3 is like the more popular move. But mm -hmm. now we get to a, a totally different opening, and now in this position that our viewers can see live, that is move 17. Yeah. I already feel like it's it, the, it's like a two result position. Either white will win mm -hmm. or it will be. So uh, just five minutes ago, you said on stream <laughs> that Martinez is a super solid player. Yeah. And that is what we are seeing here. So Martinez keeps his side full solid, mm -hmm. and if he gets a chance, He's brutal. Then he goes for it and wins the game. Mm -hmm. So nice. I can see Martinez doing the same against Harsha here. Mm -hmm. And also you can see a, a big difference. You will say, how are they only 100 points? Hai na, Atul, <laughs> usme kya hai? But yeah. 100 points at this level is a lot. Yeah. Okay. To to my like, uh, I'll say like even at this point also, but when you are playing, we are having two, two, two rating, two, 2200, 2300. That is also not so easy to increase 100 points. Okay. Means from my own yeah, experience, exactly. <laughs> it's not at all easy to increase points. 100 is a big yeah, number. I mean, I'm just putting it out there for <laughs> yeah. chat who think, are 100 points, he had different, like it's not too much. Yeah. But yeah. And I, I see some, uh, even Butterscotch likes Martinez in the chat. Yeah, so yeah, I do sure. let us know who are you supporting. Martinez yeah, guys, I, or... may, I I forgot to put the poll for the finals. Okay, uh, who do you think will be the champion? I will just put it. Uh, yeah, who... I think we can still put it because we still have time. Yes, yeah, we have, I'll just put it. Who is going to be the champion? Harsha or... Or Martinez. But but, trying to get his lead to f4 from knight h5, but Jose smartly defending with g3. Now mm -hmm. queen f7 attacking f3, so he'll play king g2. Oh, he played knight d2, attacking ah. the rook. I, I think this knight was hanging, no? That's why he moved it uh, away from that position. Yeah, but he wanted right. to get the rook yeah, first. I yeah, I thought he'll play king g2 first to protect the knight. Yeah, yeah, correct. But he, this is okay. So mm -hmm. uh, Jose is planning to exchange the rooks on mm -hmm. the queen side. Mm -hmm. and. Atul, if you see just a little improvement in White's position, this is the last five moves. Mm -hmm. Jose has played it extremely fast. So you see the time, there is a difference of uh, one and a half minutes. One and a half minutes, yeah, correct. And, and and one more thing is also there that, that he has defended everything in the position. Like there is no loophole in his position. C3, D3, A4, everything is protected. Right. right? Yep. Okay, we, 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 Vivek has a question for you, Ra Rakesh uh, bhai, that uh, plays, please explain the journey towards IM. Chat will understand the importance of 50, 100 points. <laughs> oh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, it was like, I think I had scored like seven or eight IM norms, but to become an international master, you need to have 2400 rating on Fide, not on chess.com or any website. 
so you have to also increase your rating with that <laughs> so i had my norms for a long time and i couldn't cross the rating barrier till uh, 2018 but yeah finally after i got it so it was a very sweet moment but yeah vivek international arbiter vivek is right that yeah. it is very very difficult the higher you go to increase your points that is why even the difference in Magnus Carlsen and other players is a lot. A lot. Even so though it feels like uh, 20, 30 points sometimes, um, uh, like Karwana yeah. had or somebody comes very close to him, but he keeps on winning. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> exactly, exactly. That is the point. But you so, must be very relieved no? after like uh, getting that uh, last few points when you were like 2, 3, oh. 9, 0. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Very like. Relieved would be an understatement. Okay, relieved. Be... <laughs> so here he is. He is taking care of the con uh, center very well. He is uh, controlling everything in the center, like Jose. Yeah. By the way, I did not know that you need to pronounce it Jose. I was calling it Jos. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like a Spanish name, typical Spanish name. So J is pronounced as H. Yeah, yeah, correct, correct. Spanish. So yeah, it's Jose. Jose. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, he goes night back. I think Harsha is playing a little passively. Mm -hmm. And he, 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 he couldn't capture, right? Means uh, queen yeah, d5 exactly. and the uh, knight on c6 was hanging in that position. Guys, do like the stream. We have a very special guest uh, here. Chess.com's, uh, in, Chess.com India's uh, main here. Means uh, who is supporting us for this tournament also. Rakesh Kulkarni, international master. So do like the stream and uh, enjoy the games with us. With his uh, insightful commentary. Knight c5, okay. Knight c5. Mm -hmm. I think time is the crucial element here, but okay, they have two seconds increment, but Jose will use all his experience here, mm -hmm. I think. Oh, okay, okay. Do you think that they will exchange the queens? I don't think so. No, no, no. Jose will not exchange, I think. <laughs> he will keep it on the board. Maybe knight, okay, queen yeah. e2. He does, he does. He has to keep it on for the, to keep, otherwise your uh, advantage on the clock is like diminished yeah but harsha has managed to get something in the position like uh, now i don't think so that he will be having any great problems because his doubled pawn is yeah. gone from the board right i agree I, I think harsha is in fact better in this position if not equal <laughs> yeah so, uh, I, here uh vivek said like the third match has started we'll have a quick look at that game okay uh, aron nyok is playing with the white pieces over here against uh, harsha des and they will uh, be fighting for the third and the fourth place uh, so yeah, and some decent prize money there also in world chat. Yes, so the like... the third prize is uh, ten thousand rupees uh -huh. and the fourth prize is seven thousand rupees. So that's also a good prize money, I will say. And uh, here in this tournament, we try to give as many prizes as possible for even for the kids and uh, for kids like under nine, under eleven, thirteen, and uh, fifteen, and for underrated also there are five prizes. So and. Uh, uh, apart from those cash prizes, I must say this thing that thanks to Rakesh Bhai that we are going to give 12 uh, one month diamond memberships of chess.com to yep. 12 players. Like, uh, we'll see who is going to win yep. those diamond memberships. <laughs> because okay, I personally. Well, huh? Following this channel, so do subscribe if you haven't. And Atul, if you can come back to the game. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll come back to the Harsha game. Yeah. Because I think Jose has managed to turn it around and now. Okay, the exchange. Like has a good position. Yeah. yeah, the pawn on c6 will fall now, right? Yeah, also the pawn on e5. So he just has to play like something like f3 to defend uh, his e4. Yeah, and correct. And problem is now Harsha is down to 20 seconds. So Oh my god. And that, finals that... Ka pressure to hota hi to. Yes, yes. And uh, it will not be easy for him to play under such a solid opponent in time pressure and that too in the finals. Yeah, exactly. Nice move. King G1 just he'll gain time. Mm -hmm. Just showing that you are the boss, like you can uh, make the draw anytime you want. Mm -hmm. Harsha under 10 seconds, Atul. Oh my god, 9 seconds are there now. That's uh, fine. Okay, he played A5, but the pawn is just hanging, right? Why? He just captured yep. that pawn. Okay. Yeah. So nothing yes, thank is. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Now C6 yes. will pawn, will fall. E5 is also hanging. Okay, this is not going to be easy. Is he going to draw? No, 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 King no, F2. No. Yeah, King F2. Four. <laughs> yeah, now knight c6 is possible. Yeah, so knight c6, knight d3 will be played, no? But we can play king e3 in that case, I guess. So. Yeah, it, it's not over. Oh, he captures okay. with the rook only. 
Then even if you trade rooks, now the e4 pawn, e5 pawn will hang. So king e3. King e3 is the best move in this position. And after that, what do you think? Will he play rook a3? Oh, knight is under yeah, attack. Knight c4. Okay, he's going after the e5 pawn now. I think it is difficult. Yeah, now, now it's already lost now. Like, yeah. I, as we discussed, I think the time <laughs> pressure moment was critical for Harsha and now he will... He will uh, not... Yeah, he is going to lose this game. I don't think he's going to save this one. So if uh, he wins this game, Martin is winning this game, I think like uh, <laughs> he might just draw the next game. Miss, he'll just try to miss. He's going to win. <laughs> but of, of course, like yeah, Arsha, and then you you have to figure out a way to uh, make the trophy reach Peru. <laughs> yeah, we we need to do something. But we are not again. Uh, but okay, we'll try something. But cash, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just the prize. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like joking, but yeah, yeah. Understand, yeah, look, understand. Looks difficult now, Atul, for uh, Harsha. Harsha here, now, yeah. Sadly. Because he is just having one second now. Yeah, he's playing on the increment now. Yeah, and as and you were saying, like uh, so many of these arena kings, masters. He's, he, I don't know if he's also streaming because he's a very famous streamer in chess.com Spanish. Oh. So oh. he he plays these arena tournaments and he's like a regular. Mm -hmm. On chess.com, so let's see. Oh, check. one king two. King e3. Oh, yeah, now he's already like he's two pawns down now. But why is he repeating? He wants to gain the time, I think so. <laughs> yeah, he he'll definitely change. Okay, knight d1. There are some checks are coming back to back. So do you think that? Okay. Harsha's not giving up. Yeah, he's not giving. He's fighting till the end. He's saying like I'm. King e2, the knight c3 is a threefold draw, I think. Yeah, yeah so, so he, he goes for king, king b2 now. Oh, king beat yeah, knight, knight c4 is not coming, no? Rook d3, if the knight moves, then knight c4. He goes for king c4. Harsha has found out some some chances. Some yeah, chances. Harsha is <laughs> not giving up. Nice to see that. Wow, this is crazy. Game, Do you think that this... Important. Oh my god, knight c4. Knight c4. No, no, no. Okay, knight, rook right. is hanging. Okay, fine, fine. I thought like uh, he is going to lose the piece of what. But this might be a draw, no? He can, he can capture uh, on e, e5 and f3. He could have captured on both. Yeah, the... he could have, but still, you you're one you're one point on it. But now suddenly, uh -huh. I think White has managed to consolidate, and White should take this home now. Yeah, now King E5 will be going up slowly and gradually. Exactly, exactly. Now, if now, you now see the knight on B2 is out of the game. Oh my God, knight A4 and A2 is now, time. and he has a clear right. passed one now. Okay, Black is also trying to get one passed one. Okay, interesting. Both players under extreme time pressure. And it's really nice to see their reactions on camera. <laughs> yeah. King this, they, they okay, are, he wants to go King D6, King D7 and E7. Yeah, E7. And the poor knight on B2 is not participating in the game. It should come back exactly, in the game somehow. <laughs> yeah, it will take a lot of moves for that. E7, H2, Queen, H2, Queen, Queen, Queen E5 check, Queen B2 hangs. Oh my god, nice, nice tactic in the end. And he has won the game. The second game has also started. Uh, okay, yeah. what the for uh, third and fourth game game also, Aranyuk and they have already started. Aranyuk, by the way, what happened in that game, I couldn't follow. But yeah, I... Aranyuk won the first game and here, okay. uh, Jose won the first game. Yeah. So guys, another reminder that it's a best of two match. Yeah. So once a player reaches 1.5 or 2 points, they have secured the match as you have seen throughout today's stream. Yeah. And it was a very interesting format also for uh, me to comment because like uh, the games were keep on going on and uh, we yeah. have to understand like best. what, uh, yeah, best, best thing. Like I feel like it is fair to play with both colors rather than just giving one chance to one yeah, player. Yeah, I, I... I, I agree. I absolutely agree. And I was watching the stream with, I think, you and Nandini were commentating there. Yeah. Because some really hard-fought games. Yeah. Uh, one of those games were a little lopsided, like one team, one player was winning <laughs> easily. But these semi-final and final games are extremely hard-fought. Yeah. As you can see. And now, Atul, I really like Harsha's opening choice. Mm -hmm. Like, if you can see there, what is the best chance to increase your uh, best way to increase your chances of winning is to castle on opposite sides and go crazy yeah so, so you can see white has castled on the queen side yeah black has castled on the king side mm -hmm. and white is just going to push these pawns yeah. and try to create some kind of play you, you mean just like h3 g4 it might create some chances for harsh and uh, 
yeah yeah definitely <laughs> i mean that is the idea it is like it doesn't matter right if you lose 20 if you lose 1.5 yeah it doesn't so matter you should you should go for it i feel i i would have done the same as harsha i really like his his approach here correct correct and uh, okay do you think that he will he will manage to come back what's your prediction <laughs> um it is possible but i would say around 20 or 30% chance okay but the problem is jose is so experienced because the arena kings event that we have for streamers on chess.com every week mm-hmm. is the top 16 qualify and then there is again the same format that atul you are using oh really it is wow. like a mini match yes it is uh-huh. like a two game mini match okay so these uh, i don't i haven't seen harsha stream or play so much mm-hmm. like those event Mm-hmm. but jose is used to doing that and he does that against uh, naroditsky hikaru and like like the best <laughs> like players. best so, players uh, in the world not only right, right, exactly you know. so he has better experience in that aspect uh, before again, some time yeah. i just want to know about this thing because i don't know uh, here uh, nila sa was saying that uh, uh, title tuesday also has something similar format it had or something uh, it had it had now now we have scrapped it but it had the same format so nilash is right yeah means he was talking about that thing and uh, i said like okay means he said like he he knows this format and he has played it in the past i said like cool <laughs> yeah so it is like uh, a chess.com custom uh, style <laughs> so but yeah it, it, uh, like you said it's yeah. it's the most fair chance for both players both players and uh, we should do yeah. that thing only when uh, we are having and we can see some quality games also like the exactly exactly but j- just a fun question chat for like for the chat atul mm-hmm. what happens if harsha makes a dream comeback yeah <laughs> no no I'm, i'm asking so it it's like one one then what what happens do we have an armageddon or what happens next yeah chat needs to tell us that thing let's see chat will tell us or not mayuri is there vivek is there deepak is there in the chat and uh, butterscotch is also there amay is there let's see what what they are going to tell us okay and I... but uh, like atul as you saw in the first game again one minute advantage for jose already jose yes on yes and, and one more thing uh, again oh. a very solid position why is he giving yeah, up the but... rook Yeah, Malab, uh, ED four. Then there is no time to save the rook because yeah. your knight hangs. Yeah, knight also. And ED four. Uh, if you go knight E two, then knight into E four hangs. Atul. Oh. <laughs> pressure, Good. pressure. Oh no, pressure. no, no. It's not pressure. Maybe Harsha wanted to give this, but uh, no, I, I don't believe it. I, I don't believe it. No, no, no. I, I, I don't think so. Like what he is doing, I think he is just going down under pressure. Nothing yeah, else. I mean, bishop d one is an option. Knight e four is another beautiful option if you see the pin. Ah, like the bishop has a discovered attack on the queen on d four. मतलब correct. मुश्किल 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 काम हो रहा है. There was only one trick which happens in this kind of position that the knight will come on d five and if opponent captures, then <laughs> <laughs> then there will be a checkmate. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Apart so from that, he managed that. to avoid that. Uh, yeah, Miss. He he captured on d one, no. Uh, he he is satisfied with the exchange yeah i mean for it, it, it's actually a bigger problem for uh, harsha because he has to win it's yeah. not a one off game uh but what is happening now knight might be jumping somewhere or what is it jumping on d5 followed by b5 followed by d6 no it's difficult because the yeah, knight b5 is possible attacking the d6 for yeah, yeah d6 the two rooks Yeah, if that happen, oh, he played queen d two. Uh, I think that was maybe Harsha's last chance to play knight b five because even if knight e four plays yeah. in that position, we can just capture the knight and then still knight d six was coming. Why? Exactly, why yeah. did he miss that thing? It was uh, a clear, clear cut possibility. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but yeah, this is the problem now <laughs> because white pieces are getting stuck yeah. and uh, it's looking, it's looking difficult now. And Queen A5 is a very clever move. Miss, he is uh, stopping all night jumps. He is saying like, by the way, Vivek said something. Yeah. Diamond membership, QT, Yan. Uh, wow. I think maybe question, maybe the question that we were asking, is it for a diamond membership? Is that <laughs> is, I think Vivek is assuming that. But uh, yeah, on another note, Arunyak looks all set to confirm his uh, third place. Uh, third place because he's he won the first game and now he's also in a. 
yeah. Oh yeah, G G four or the E five pawn is definitely going to yeah, he has just, like yeah. a minimum a draw or he will win. So. Mm -hmm. So third here, place third safe. place is safe. So the place standings will be like declared very soon. But we can see that thing that Arunnik is third and then Harshad will be the fourth place. So we'll come back yeah. to the game uh, between our champion and uh, runner-up, you can say, which is going to happen very soon. <laughs> but as we saw one move before only, there can be a chance anytime, right? Yep, absolutely. Like knight b5 so was a chance. That, yeah, that is why we love the game at all because <laughs> things can change anytime at any moment yeah and uh, if, if this thing something like that happens then i will say like okay credit goes to harsha's fighting spirit <laughs> oh definitely I, I at least like this opening chess i mean you have to give credit where it's due mm -hmm. yeah opening choice is uh, he he tried to play unorthodox he, openings he is coming under a little bit of pressure because he knows he's better Mm -hmm. How do I convert it or how do I ensure oh, it's a oh, yeah, yeah, mass trade? Mass trade. And the knight on d5 looks very beautiful suddenly to me. <laughs> okay, he is yeah. extended down, but the knight is very beautifully placed. Yeah, I think you have to play knight f6 when you get the chance to exchange it. Yes, yes. But if you exchange, right. then the pawn on d6 might be falling. So you need to first support the pawn no on d6. Problem. And then no, uh, no, I think just uh, give it up, give it up. The knight on d5 is like paralyzing black pieces. So yeah, it is like the octopus knight we call it. Oh, he plays c4. Maybe now he has the time to defend the pawn on d6 and pl then play knight f6. But uh, Atul, uh, hmm, you know hmm. the biggest difference is hmm? uh, Jose has the draw odds. Draw odds. So yeah, I mean like he can. Draw and still win the match. Yeah, correct. Like correct. Ha has to play for a win. Yeah, he has to so, play for a win. There is no chance. But is, but somehow slowly and gradually, I feel like uh, if exchanges happen the way you were telling me, it might steer down to the drawing situation. If the exchanges I happen, so I, I'm afraid that might be the case here for Harsha. And sadly, yeah, he might have left it a little too late. But again, mm. times are equal now. Jose is in fact a little bit, yeah, yeah you see, almost times are yeah, very equal. equal. And he supported the pawn on d6, and the plan which you already talked about, he might be going for knight f6 now on the next move. Yeah, yeah, that, that looks like it. And let's see whether he plays this thing or not. But what will White play? What will Harsha play? How he will create his chances? That's a big question in front of us. Oh, he played knight c7. Okay, Oh, he's, he's going for the d6. d6 pawn, he wants that pawn. Or he wants to a7. Black also top off a pawn on h2, but I think that pawn is kind of irrelevant. <laughs> and by the way, confirmation on uh, Arunak's board. Arunak has drawn. Yeah, he has. He has. He has a, play officially. Officially, he has secured. Good, cool, cool. Congrats to Arunak. He uh, played really cool chess in this full tournament. Uh, let's see who what happens here now. We have the third place uh, victory here. Fourth place is also done. Oh, he captured on the first two. And uh, yeah, yeah, he, he uh, has to. Rakesh Bhai, they are down so to one minute. Of, they are yeah, down to one minute. Knight f5 is a discovered check threatening the rook. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like this knight can be concentrated there only by playing e5 or c5. <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I think so too. Okay, and, huh. but kudos to... Uh, Harsha, he's not giving up without a fight. Yeah, yeah, he is fighting it hard. He knows the value of uh, each and every good move. So he's trying to get make as many good moves as possible. Okay, yeah, now the pawn. On... You... Huh? Try to defend the rook and then suddenly the b7 pawn is also hanging. Or oh, c5 is a C5. nice move. Wow. Nice move, Harsha. Do you think that there might be a possibility of creating the c pawn as a passed pawn by pushing the b4, b5 and c6? Definitely. Definitely, there is a possibility. Yeah. And now the problem is, see, the black is an exchange up, but the rooks like open files. These, <laughs> you see, the whole board is shut by the knight on d6. Yeah, this is a beautiful knight. I think Harsha might win. Okay, that's my feeling here. It, it... Even I think so, but it's just the temperament that comes into play. Who Correct. has the more experience? Who is more relaxed? Who is more oh, calm? He, he has given up that thing. He plays b4. Now what? b7 pawn yeah. was hanging. Okay, c5 was hanging first of all. I mean, that he's going to take that any moment. It, it's but like but Harsha, Harsha might be winning, right? 
ஆர்மாட்டி <laughs> 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 Yeah, and Jose down on the clock as well. Just mm-hmm. don't take Bishop B7 because Rook B7 is coming. Yeah, Harshan okay. Yeah, just yeah, just yeah. to consolidate. Oh, but Rook E3 is Rook coming. Rook E3, Rook E3. Che- oh, he did not play that thing. Thank God. Now King C4 or Rook D3. Yeah, King C4. Yeah, he is. Uh, he, his pawn is going to decide the game. The C pawn is going to decide the game. Rook E3. Five seconds, Jose. Five seconds. <laughs> okay. Suddenly, uh, I. F- oh, oh rook g3 rook g3 and and push the pawn on h4 but he did not go for that thing and now what happens okay he's trying to get the piece oh knight c8 check cool is he going to exchange okay. three okay. seconds three seconds Sisa. for arsha oh seven push push g push. by h4 okay there, 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 there okay check check will be coming check will be oh king c7 oh he captures that pawn what is going push. to happen Just oh my god pawns. push the pawn king d7 Jose, c7 Jose c7 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 man but you have to go rook c3 actually. rook okay okay cool f7 pawn is under attack now what is going to happen this is getting crazy they are playing in so much of time yeah, pressure yeah they are playing only 3 minutes 3 gets 3 queen <laughs> queen <laughs> oh my god 10 10 oh, seconds oh, are there bishop d7 still... again oh Oh, oh but this might oh, be a draw this oh, might god. be a draw oh my this goodness this might be a draw so you are absolutely right <laughs> because the pawn and... the pawn is going to queen for sure and the bishop will be lost and the we know this thing rook and knight against rook is not at all winning position oh my exactly. god exactly at least if you are given the the knight then it's a bigger chance oh my god this was crazy finish okay oh, as you said like oh, temperament oh. and the nerves played a big part and uh, yeah. Martin is just uh... both of the players fully focused on the camera so very yeah. good job on that Atul yeah am i am not sure armageddon aa raha hai ki nahi because no no i, I mean it feels me it feels oh, harsha played it on one second harsha oh my god yeah he, he should not flag down <laughs> but yeah. what a turn around no the position was going up and down up and down <laughs> okay, oh boy, i feel very bad for harsha because he made a miraculous He's comeback come back. In fact, now just yeah, king h5, king h4, and push the pawn. Push the pawn. This is e- easy, the- easy draw, easy draw. He will definitely draw the game, unless he yeah. blunders the rook. That will not happen. <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, the, the, there was a never... checkmate. Okay, king h5, rook h2 was a mate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 king f4, knight d3, check. Again. Okay, again. So small tricks I are there. Tricky. Small yeah, tricks are there. Tricks. Yeah. and in one of the game yesterday uh, i as far as remember uh, bhakti in bhakti's game somebody just was like bhakti was losing and her opponent just blundered rook and she won the game <laughs> in this kind of position only yeah, those those things can happen definitely yeah okay he is fighting harsha is fighting maybe yeah, he will time now i think he will win the pawn knight yeah. f7 knight g5 g5 and uh, now guys it's 77th move So 50 more moves i think and, and is there any automatic rule in chess.com that the game yes. will be declared drawn yeah 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 okay so but but from this move it will be without pawn push the game is automatically drawn ah okay from this move onwards they will be calculating right means once yeah, he captured 77. the pawn on g5 yes yes from move 77 ah yeah. this will be a big test for uh, <laughs> not big martin has must have defended this position score many times but still in time pressure it's not that easy i feel yeah it's but you see he's playing fast now he has more time than he had earlier so yeah he is is looking uh, set he is set like and uh, he knows that he just need to keep the tap on the knight and everything will be good yeah so guys the now we are at move number 90 move number 127 is what jose will be declaring okay range because then it's automatically a draw but knight is so stuck you don't even need to press it on chess.com it's like we automatically give it a draw that's a cool feature i will say like because in normal tournament you have to claim it you have to keep an eye on the score yeah. sheet 
and uh, check thank it out <laughs> one yeah, one just it has some tricks the problem is with the bishop you can create a mating net but with the knight My... you just have to be lucky yeah if that thing okay he has like created some chances for himself but okay he is running away yeah th th there is a thing with the bishop you stop the king as well from running but mm. with the knight you can only either shelter your own king or uh, threaten the black king so okay joseph uh, offered oh, a draw, a draw offer. we see a draw yeah, offer but harsha declined it <laughs> yeah, obviously, obviously obviously he will keep on playing still he, he has uh, he still has 30 moves right yeah, he has around 24 moves now. Okay, okay, cool. Okay, Rook will move now. And, okay, we are waiting. It will be cool to take the interview also, what was going on in their mind and everything <laughs> when the blenders were happening. We, we will ask yeah. them questions. We will ask them questions. But let's see what happens. If Harsha miraculously wins this game. Then we'll will... have an Armageddon, which yeah. even the chat is hoping for. <laughs> Check here. Okay, the final try. I think so. King might be coming okay, to us. When you are in shuffle with every move, it look it's looking like more like a draw. But Jose is down to four seconds. Finally, oh my Mala. god! Yeah, he needs to take take care, no? Yeah, if Harsha can be tricky, this is the moment. Oh my god! What, what is there? He's winning. She, check. What? How, but how? <laughs> Harsha is winning. I don't know how. I just saw the bar go up. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Oh, he's messed it up. Uh, that was ten epic. more moves, guys. Ten but how how moves. how it was winning? I we don't even know. Jose <laughs> offered offered another draw. Ten moves to go, guys. Oh my god! Then a draw. Then uh, uh, that oh, was crazy, god. crazy, crazy. <laughs> I epic, will epic, I, epic, epic, epic. I I will get them on the stream also. Okay. Yeah. Well, congratulations to Jose for winning yeah. the Red Bull second ICA tournament. Uh, but, but, yeah, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Rakesh Bhai, are you there in the Zoom meeting also? Can you join the Zoom meeting for your yeah, wife's yeah, list? I, yeah, just join yeah, that join. link so that they can hear you. Yep. I will immediately add you there. Martinez, uh, okay, we will talk to them. Wait, wait, just one minute. We are coming there. <laughs> Have you sent the uh, request? Yeah, I'm in yeah. the lobby. Yeah. What, what, what a game, Martinez. This was a crazy game which uh, you guys played. This was completely up and down. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Rakesh Bhai, uh, you were saying something to Martinez. <laughs> yeah. Uh, congratulations and uh, great game, Jose. Uh, how are you feeling? Uh, I was expecting I will lose that uh, knight rook against rook and game because uh, <laughs> the last position I have three seconds mm -hmm. and he made like uh, his skin the close the closest possible and then hopefully I get the three positions repeatedly but yeah I I am happy yeah because uh, I play against so many strong players and it's very good to, to win that tournament. Uh, in that condition with many strong players yeah it was a epic match uh, harsha uh, like you fought like a lion i must say like uh, the position uh, was not uh, that epic easy fight. epic fight like you put your knight in the center of the board and uh, you made it so difficult for martinez that in the end he just sacrificed the knight <laughs> by the way you are on mute uh, can you unmute uh, like harsha yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think first game was also draw, but I was in time trouble, so I couldn't find the moves. Ah, okay. <laughs> in time trouble, you could not find the moves, but yeah. it was a tough, uh, like, okay, you you both played amazing chess, especially we loved the second game. It might not be that easy for you to play the second game, <laughs> but... Yeah, yeah, it was uh, very complicated, actually. Arsha, at, did, at any point did you feel you were like you were close to a win in the second game? Actually, yeah, when he took on e5, like pawn takes pawn, I, I got two pieces, right? For yeah. Rook, like knight yeah. and bishop. Yeah. I, I thought I'll be winning there because I'll get some passer on the queen side. 
Mm-hmm. But uh, somehow I lost this G3 pawn and like H5, H4, it was too fast. Uh, I had to give it my bishop for it. Yeah, yeah. By the way, uh, like I really don't know because I my engine and anything, nothing was on. But in the end, bar just went up when you, uh, can you see the position on 115 moves? It just went up when you gave a check uh, and uh, I think there was uh, some checkmate happening there. Yeah, uh, there was yeah, yeah. rook and knight and the end. Uh, rook was his rook and knight at the uh, at the end. Yeah, in, in the end. Rook e four. Huh? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I think your king is on f six. King black yeah, king yeah, is on h yeah. eight. Yeah. That position. Yeah, <laughs> that that was uh, like a really crazy uh, game. Which I mean, it would have been a crazy thing. Like it if oh, it was how a check. Winning by the way. Uh, Rakesh Bhai, can you send me I'm, the I'm, link, I'm lo- sure link like, for the game? Like chess.com engine showed like a forced mating 12, but and you ha- exactly had 12 moves because 127 move was a draw after <laughs> oh, 7. Okay. Yeah, okay. But yeah, it's but you, you tried, you tried your best, so we really appreciate the fans loved it. So, also coming back to uh, Jose, uh, again, uh, you play so many events, uh, like all these cash events, also. You played the Pro Chess League for India team. Also, you play so many events like Arena Kings on chess.com. So, what is your secret, Jose? I don't know, Joss. I play I play fast. I like to play fast because the time is so important in Blitz formats. I always use maybe the same openings, maybe some at team. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I hardly ever change uh, like or prove another... Uh, we are lined. Uh, I always play my neither and <laughs> yeah, and then you can see it, both colors. And then I have experience. Now the experience is so important in blitz because if you know the position, you can play like with confidence, not wasting many times. You know the plans, etc. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think that's that's very uh... amazing advice for uh, other blitz players out there. And trust, I, trust your openings. Trust your openings. And uh, the way you played uh, all the games, you were very quick in the start of a- every game. Like you did not take that much time. That is something which uh, every kid or someone who is watching the stream, they can learn. And But one question from their side, I'll say like, how do you like uh, master this thing? It is a very difficult question, but in short, if you can say for the kids. Martin, did you understand? Uh, like I, I like you. You said like in the opening you prepare a lot, and but how do you prepare? Like in short, like do you study the games mostly or what? Yeah, I, I, I mostly I most likely I try to refresh the theory, the ideas uh, every week maybe because if you study some opening oh, someday okay. and you didn't study one month ago, one month after. Maybe you will forget. Now it's time. It's and, uh, and, uh, if you want to to be a good uh, in some openings, uh, you should like review. Maybe every day, but not. Uh, this is a professional level, but maybe every week to don't forget to to be like uh, fresh in the game and that. Oh, cool. Thank you. Thank you for the your advice for the kids. And uh, as uh, Rakesh was also saying, like you play many. Uh, tie breaks and everything ev- almost every week against uh, Hikaru Nakamura and uh, all those top players. Maybe that uh, helped you in this match also to keep your nerves uh, because the position was not that easy. <laughs> yeah, no, the, the position here, uh, the, the opening he played, Herschel, was very difficult. The sacrifice, the exchange sacrifice was like a double edge and I should have more time to think. Mm-hmm. Like uh, I, I, I saw I made many mistakes, but it's it's uh, normal because uh, I should like think deeply to solve the problems of that exchange sacrifice. But yeah, this is neither uh, that positions uh, can happen, <laughs> and I should be prepared. Good, good. So uh, and just yeah. last question, guys. I know it's been a long day, so we let you go. But just one question: uh, we have played online for so long, so both of you. Are you planning to play any over the board events starting with Harsha? I'm playing the Cello Prevard Open in Spain. Uh, it's going to start on 29th November. Okay, is it your first tournament after the pandemic? 
Uh, no, no, no. I played in Armenia before, like this, this time yeah, yeah. back. Yeah. Last month, yeah. Yeah. And Jose, uh, over the board tournaments, any anything? Actually, I played one month ago. No, one half a month ago. Some okay. Ice Cup, and I will play in ten, eleven days another tournament, US Masters in America. In Charlotte, yeah. yeah? In Charlotte, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Good luck, guys, and feliz uh, adiós. José, and Thanks. muchísimas gracias para la interview. <laughs> well, I, I, I understood some of the things, but okay. <laughs> Congratulations in English, the language which I understood. <laughs> and one more, one, 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 one last question before you leave. Can you please tell us, like, how was your experience playing in the our tournament? Like, uh, I'm really glad that you played all the way from uh, Peru. I think he left, uh, but okay, fine, fine. I'm still here. Oh, you are still here, but uh, yeah. why it is messed up there? Okay. Uh, no, yeah. Okay. I, okay. Enjoy, I, I... I enjoyed this tournament. Uh -huh. I uh, I actually have very many experience in in India. I went like before pandemic. I was like playing two tournaments: the uh, Chennai Open and the Delhi Open ah, in January really? oh. and yeah. December. No, January both. And yeah. Then I, yeah, I have experience. Yeah, I went before pandemic. If actually, one month, uh, one month after that, uh, COVID starts, and then I didn't play <laughs> for TV since now since this month. Yeah, and and then I play with Joey's. Um, yeah, Nuber, uh, some friend invited me, and then I accept. And yeah, it's not it's not weird. Yeah, I I, I like to play everywhere if I have the the opportunity and the time to do it. Cool, cool. And uh, what about Harsha? Yeah. Your last words? <laughs> about, yeah, about this tournament, right? Yeah, yeah, about the tournament. Like. Yeah, I only played first time, so in this format, I like a lot. Like uh, this, Than the previous one, did you like this format or the previous only one day tournament? Yeah, actually, I like this format. Okay, this we, we will try to keep this format for the next tournament also. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, this was great, yes. Okay, thank you very much for all of you to join in the end. Congratulations to both of you. First and second place is uh, very well deserved, I would say. And uh, thanks to our uh, sponsors, Red Bull also to like making it happen. And uh, thanks to Rakesh Pai uh, to give us the platform and to like helping us to organize the tournament. And our chief arbiter here, Vivek Sohani, he is the international arbiter. Thanks to him and all the team which was uh, working behind the scenes. Thanks to them also. So. Without uh, all this, uh, it wouldn't have been possible. And uh, most important, all the players who participated in this tournament. Thank you very much, guys. And um, okay, we will meet next time. And uh, for the viewers, Rakesh Bhai, when we will be able to like uh, declare the normal standings apart from the top eight tomorrow, we should be able yeah, to Yeah, I think declare? in a couple of days, we just need to do a quick fair play check. Okay. And we'll be good with the prizes. And okay. yes, thank you. Thank you to all the players and to the chat as well. Yeah. To and the chat thank you, Atul, well. for organizing this. Looking yeah. forward to the same tournament, maybe in the next month or two, guys. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. So with this note, with happy note, we will uh, end this stream and uh, see you uh, 